I'm a little stressed out. Why? It's just they're a cult. I've never been so confused. I'm a little stressed out. Why? It's just they're a cult. I've never been so confused. Nope. Nope. Take me away. Take me away. Go to the link in my bio and hang out with us. Exclamation point. Hashtag relatable podcast with Jackie Fabulous. Who else is here? Crystal Powell. Let it bug. What is still the bubble cakes? <laughs> Over here trying not to eat up uh, the kitchen, the living room, and the bathroom and bathroom. And then I'll take the girl. I found myself, I saw your post when you were like, I don't want to get married again. I don't want to do all this. Me and my husband are getting back together. Oh, no, that's beautiful. We want like, that. The thing is, I got to get used to being like sharing and except for when the sex is done, you go to your corner. Because I'm used to having my snacks in the nightstand, my stuff getting up when I want to get up, brushing uh -huh. my teeth two o'clock if I ain't got nowhere to go because I'm not spraying it on nobody. Yeah. <laughs> up and getting him ice cream <laughs> girl I, he said i looked at him the other day like nigga you got two feet because we had both finished just working uh -huh. we both had just got off yeah so when who decides who does what for who well oh, or hey, 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 angel. I, I know how you, i know how you feel because uh you know who the guy i'm dealing with he's like a cat when I'm at his house, he just follows me around from room to room. If I go in the kitchen late at night and I want a, I want a snack, he's like, who turned the lights on? I'm like, I don't need your help. Yes. <laughs> That's just men. I'm learning this. And I think the sooner we accept this, we're going to be okay. They want, like, either they want to be up under you or they out fucking around. So That's I it. just get That's high and let them get up under me. Huh? That's it. It's just two options, huh? Yes. Yeah. Two options. We don't get no in between. That's just that's just like us getting to be a size six with beautiful teeth, beautiful hair, and beautiful bundle. Like just I, waving. Hair. We don't get all of that in one. It ain't coming. It ain't. So that's. I, that's all. I always say I'm like God made me talented, funny, attractive, and, but skinny. He's like, bitch, don't be greedy. I'm not gonna make you fit. Also. <laughs> He's like, how dare you ask for all of that? All of that. Y'all, my internet, I called him today. My internet been acting up. I, I'm put, putting it out there in the atmosphere that this is going to be great. But my internet was so bad to where they were like, uh, before your next appearance, can you uh, do a test? And I'm like, <laughs> damn. Like, bitch, uh-uh. I was this close to not getting all my money. <laughs> <laughs> you need a dry run. Yeah, Angel, know, so how are you? I'm well. I'm so Can't hear you, girl. 
What'd you say? Hey, oh. okay, I can hear you now. What happened? I didn't hear you. You were talking and nothing came out your mouth. You know what happened was I forgot to hook up my microphone. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> why? I know, I know. The mic- People- the mic- let me go get the microphone. The microphone right over there. Let me just go get it real quick. Right. You look really pretty. Both of you ladies do. Jackie, that lipstick is popping. Thank you. I never, I always like to uh, ombre with a dark liner, but I couldn't find it. So I'm like, I'm just out here with bright ass pink. I know, don't, don't, don't well, know how to do pretty, this, though. but thank you. That's pretty, yeah. Thank you. But I realized that I feel like it's, that's the only option. I either get the guy where I don't know where he is and he doesn't really want to be track, tracked, or if I go to the bathroom, he's like behind me. I'm like, what are you, yeah. would you go he's away? Up, you take your panty. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> At one time, so it's kind of like the gratitude deal. Like, what are we like? What you do you know, want? What do you want? <clears throat> I so took I'll a shower. Take I, I took a shower at his house, and when I pulled the shower curtain back to come out, he was standing there with the towel. I was like, "This is." Oh, uh, and if we'd have watched that in the movie, we'd have been like, "Oh, but since it's you, be like, nigga, you scare me." Girl, you <laughs> that, some niggas would be like, "Bitch, get your own towel and dry." Matter of fact, you shouldn't even shower over here, bitch. We gonna hump and go, hump and go. <laughs> So we just got to pick our poison. We do. I don't know which one I want, though. <laughs> I don't want the nigga in the streets. Now that I'm, because when you you think about it, when we work, move, run, do what we got to do, we get some days at home, we want to rest. And we want that thing there with us, that meat. So even if I'm home for three days, I want that sausage beside me. <laughs> so let's go on in. So I'll take you following me in the kitchen. I'll take us watching. You can have 13 TVs in your house, and we're going to watch TV on one. <laughs> y'all are hilarious i love how y'all are oh i'm i miss being abused what is all this adoring me thing you know, is this what it felt like to have a father like what in the world is going on there's a certain amount of independence at my age and i'm used to and i'm not sure i want to get rid of it for a relationship that's all you I'm call it independence i call it better woman syndrome I know I, I never been battered before. I never really had it that bad with dude. I usually get okay. guys who are like, I'm gonna do this, we're gonna do this. So I'm lucky. I don't have horror stories, but I do have stories of a guy where you call him and you can't find him, you text him, you text back slowly. That nothing serious. Yeah, so so Jackie, that's still abuse. That's yeah, not abuse. It's, it's emotional that's, abuse and neglect. Like, no, because I listen to this. To me, yeah, that, to me, that's men. That's okay, well, me. I mean, what I'm saying is I understand that you're giving your definitions and you're applplying your, you know, experience, but I'm just giving you textbook. And like when what I'm it, not, And when I'm not in love and, and when I'm not involved or invested, I don't care if he's an MIA type of dude. But okay. When, when, I, when I commit, they act right. Okay. Well, see, That's if you try to kiss me, we go together, so. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> What do you say? We together, we together. I said, if you tongue kiss me, we go together. So I won't. Oh. If we, oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I'm in there because I don't move you around. You that serious? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mm-mm. I'm telling yeah, you, I was tongue. separated from my husband for two years. Two years, guys. Here in LA, two years. Ask me how many men were in my apartment. How many? I don't know what the answer is. I'm scared. The number up. Oh, okay, one. Yeah, one. Good job. You're a good girl. So I'm, yeah, because I'm older. You know, I don't got time to be Netflix and chilling because you turn it on. I'm asleep within three minutes. So you don't, and then, <laughs> that's not fun for me. You know, it's funny. When I moved out of LA back to New York, my I, I sold and got rid of stuff, but I did not sell my couch because I'm like, you know what? There's been so much shit on this couch. Just take it. <laughs> 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 I don't want your money. It's the, the energy, the spirit in this couch. Just take it. Take it. Just take it. Just take it. Y'all are hilarious. What's been going on with you, Angel? What's been happening? I know you've been working hard, not available. First of all, let me just put you on blast real quick, Jackie. Fabulous. We were okay. on a corporate show together. <laughs> you didn't even... Wait, I didn't know you were. You didn't perform. I did. <laughs> you did? Yeah, I, I don't know those companies. You know, they all run together. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Where was and I? It was you were on there, but it's just so funny, Jackie, because you just be so unattached. Like, you just was like, hi, everybody. And then when it's like your turn, then that's when you kind of pay attention. And then when it's not, you be like. Because, <laughs> you know, I do those shows. I do like almost almost one every day, if not two right. or several times a week. Right. So now- and then. 
Yeah, for me, they've been stacking. So that's why I wasn't ready today because like when I'm on, yeah. it's because I had them back to back to back and I had already set up everything. And when I'm yeah. off, I don't want to see no ring light and no <laughs> no microphone. <laughs> I yes, break all that fine. stuff down. I had, I had two today when I have a, and they're, they're you know, they're very, very short sets. Yes, but yes. When, but when there's several of them a week, I feel drained. Because I'm looking yes. to turn on and then turn off. And yeah. turn on and then turn yeah. off. Yeah. Because even though it's five minutes, it's still an hour of your full alerted attention to what's going on. So, but yeah, so that was just so funny because I said, look at Jackie just, just on here, like in her own world. <laughs> it's just so cute, you know, because I know you and I know how just unattached you are to so, so many things. And this was just beautiful. I have a tendency to do comedy autopilot. My bad. It's just, you know, okay. I'm a robot now. I do it so easily. Yeah. So Turn to answer on. your question, ladies, I am not dating right now. I am still quarantining and doing the LA rules and everything because our COVID cases are way too high. I don't want to play with them. Like we are ordering, um, what do you call those? Like refrigerated trailers for dead bodies. Like it's that serious. So oh, I just kind of like put it on. Yeah, I put it on pause, but I found a new hobby, which is the home edit, home organizational <laughs> people with uh, the container store. You've heard of wow. them on Netflix. Oh, my God, y'all. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with the home edit. Like it just teaches you how to organize everything in your house and they sell all of the containers and pieces, you know, after they show you what to do. And I have literally reorganized my entire apartment again. Because the first time I did it with all Dollar Tree stuff from the YouTube videos. Don't do that. Okay? It's just a whole bunch of junk. <laughs> Are you, do you think you might be OCD? Because you like to organize crap. You enjoy that ah! shit. So Jackie, because it's like, it, I'm not like all the labels are facing each other or if I go yeah. to sleep and it's undone, you know, or whatever. No, I don't think so. Cause I can go to bed with dishes in my sink oh, okay. for a day, <laughs> days. Yeah. So, but I just like the way it looks. I like the way, um, you know, the final product looks the before and after. So I've been, what is it called? I, what is it called? The home edit. Okay. It's two it girls. Up. And I bought the book. They have a book on Amazon. And I just loved it. I just, you know, first of all, the container store is a whole nother level. And I've never yeah. been, but I've looked at stuff online. Hey, Courtney. Yeah, what's, up? what's up, hey, ladies? Courtney. Hey, girl. Hey. Girl, hey. <laughs> Sorry, I had work. I was just. It's okay. It's all good. We all kind of stepped in staggeredly. Um, but yeah, I was just telling them, Courtney, that I am obsessed with the Netflix show, The Home Edit. Have you seen it? Heard of it? I haven't even heard oh, okay. it on Netflix. I want to watch it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Jackie. Oh, my God. And then, oh, my God. I'm a groupie. Like, it's that crazy because the um, pieces that you buy from their line, they're not cheap now. But, you know, don't. I'm, I'm, I wish somebody would have warned me. Don't just get, you know, all hyped and go in and contain the store and lose your mind like is I it, did. Is it getting more hyped than the Asian lady who did the, you know, the? If it and let me tell joy. you, Marie Kondo. Yes, I saw all of her stuff. But let me tell you what the the, the container store like. Like once you in the inside, they give you the little knickknacks. Marie Kondo is coming out with her own line of products. Of course she is. So it's like ah, how am I uh, organize and reorganize? <laughs> it's I, I like. I thought you were you had a business where you started where you going to people's houses, but I'm like, how could you do that now? But you make your own. Oh house. no, I'm my own house. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they show you. It's two shows I'm obsessed with: Dream Home Makeover and that the edit. Home Ed, the Home Edit. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, is it that girl who shows you how to? The a oh no, you talking about the Asian girl? Marie Asian girl. Kondo is the Asian lady that shows you how to. Um, really, she shows you how to downsize minimalize right okay. and and fold and take care of your things home edit they don't really care if you keep stuff they just want you to organize it well ah, yeah i wanted to come in here and, and put up all the stuff that i want to i want to sell a lot of my crap because now you uh, realize okay. how much shit you have when you have to look at it every day you're yeah like, yeah you're like all these boots do i need four pairs of brown boots no so yeah I'm, i want to get rid of stuff Camera. Yeah. And I've never thought of organization as a style. Like what they want it to do is look cute. They don't want it to just be organized. They want it to be like, you know, like a department store, you know, ah. it looks appealing and they have this, 
this uh, technique where you organize your bookshelves by rainbow colors. What? That yeah, fun. it's so oh, pretty, Jackie. It's well, let me pretty, tell you, huh? my goal in life is to earn enough money to pay somebody to do all that shit for me. <laughs> but how do you wait? Find they do because my books are uh, my books are arranged by subject. So you know, fiction, black. I got the black section, romance, like whatever, cooking. So how you gonna mm-hmm. find some shit if it's all in the rainbow? <laughs> I know, right? Good point. First of all, <laughs> you organize all of the cooking books that are read, all of the, I'm telling you, it's an organization to another level. So for example, you have all your red books, right? Then you subdivide those. Like these are the red cooking books. These are the red um, fishing books. These are the you red. remember that the Oprah cooking book yeah. is red. When and I then need each it, time you read one, you got to make sure you put it back in the right spot. And then you, that's too well, much first work. of all, I don't first of all, I'm finding I ain't gonna be able to find it. But shit. you got to remember it's styling and your book stays on the shelf more than it's in your hands. So your book needs to look good more than it needs to be able to be found. To be well, read, how often huh? are you? How I'm often are you? Reading. How often are you really realistically on your bookshelf? This low key sounds horrible. That's I'm not true. gonna lie. I don't have <laughs> it sounds great, but also sounds like because I'm. I a guess I realize the older I get, I'm like I'm more of a big picture, and I want to. I want to throw. Money yeah. Stuff. I'm yeah. Well, picture. Jackie, just, just so you know, the home edit. If you go on their website, they will come to your house and do whatever you ah. want. Done. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. a service as well. So when we blewed up, Jackie, we just paid him to do the shit. Exactly. Because if I was in L.A. in my apartment, I'd be like, who I got to call? I'll give him some money to come fix this shit for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal. So is that how you've been coping? Because That's oh, the topic wait. of the podcast. You yes. Been your ass off? Yes. That's how I've been coping. It keeps me busy. I have literally um created i'm not done yet i'll give you guys before and after, well not before because i didn't take the before but i'll give you the after i created a beverage center in my home where i put all of the the keurig and the coffee mugs and it's all decorative hey <laughs> <laughs> that's her pornography organiza- or- organization. Yeah, that's her, yeah. Oh my god! Yes, <laughs> that's look how she she hasn't stopped smiling since she's been talking about it. You would think she, she had a new boyfriend. Playing a man, yeah, that's her dude. She's like this, and no, you guys will love it. And I mean, great, like glowing. You're glowing. Like, glowing Crystal, that's, that's so true. Like she Crystal, yeah, that is so true. I didn't know, but you know, it was another actress. Um, oh my god, she was on the Girlfriend's Guide. To divorce, um, Retta. I, I can't remember her last name. Which one? I, I remember seeing. I like. I like. Her name is Retta. And um, oh, Retta, when yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they did, they did her uh, like den, right? They came and organized her den, and she was just talking about how obsessed she is. And I'm telling you, when you see the show, you'll get it. Like it is, it is an obsession. It is like a total high. Okay. I'm <laughs> Yeah, she's like, it's like a total high for oh, you. And that's <laughs> fine. That makes you feel like you are organically excited right now. And it's the best thing. Like, she just did like a little girl, like, eh, yes, girl, yeah. get it too. I love it. That is hey, what Crystal. nobody's ever going to do to you. Can't find hey, Crystal, I, and, and, and I really heard Crystal say, for you. Because when I was talking about it, look at Crystal <laughs> doing this the whole time. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I catch body language before I catch anything. Communication is what ninety percent nonverbal. No, I was actually sending a text, and I was looking at down at my phone because I forgot mm-hmm. to put my phone on airplane mode, and that's why I paused a minute ago. Let's uh, let's Word. congratulate um, Crystal. She's getting back with her husband after two years being separated. Are- oh yeah, Crystal! Yeah. Congratulations. Are you sure? I have to be sure. I can't be straddling the fence. I got to either put my big girl panties on and get into it and make it be the best, or I got to back away from it because now, that's without, the deal. Being without getting afraid and being did you go to, like, oh. Without getting any huh? personal, did you, did you go to couples counseling? Like, what, what changed your mind without getting too personal? 
Uh, actually, the word we like through the pandemic, I started with the sisterhood group and we do daily devotionals Monday through Friday. And then just him on his own was like, man, because we still we got business together, even though those are my stepchildren, they're my stepchildren. And I'm really, really close to my oldest. So and we used to work together and then, you know, he DJs on the side. So we were still so there was no hate. But he came to me and he was like, man, he goes, I want to um, start studying. He was like, because I can see what it's doing for you. So then he started in a men's group. And then we just, because nice. we've been going to uh, couples therapy long before, but we needed Jesus. How long were y'all married again? <laughs> it'll, be, y'all married? it'll be eight years coming up in February, Valentine's Day. But we were separated almost, separated almost three years. We just never divorced. Uh-huh. Um, and we didn't hate each other. I moved out here. He's agreed to move out here instead of, you know, because oh. that's another thing with both of us traveling and he's an MC and for Kawasaki and he travels with them. So we're both on the road all the time, but we're both on the road, usually Thursday through Sunday. Then we could do, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but those Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays need to be in the same place and LA because I already moved to Houston and then I came back when things didn't work. So I've done my move. So he's like, okay, I'll do it because we too grown and too old for that. Sit down and you know, love on your people, tell, say, be okay with saying you sorry. And I found out a lot of my faults because, because I don't scream and holler and talk shit when I'm upset. I feel like me shutting down for two, three months, not even wanting you to touch my shoulder in the closet. I'm okay just because I hadn't said motherfucker, whoop, whoop, whoop. So I never had right. any accountability because when mm-hmm. I first got married, I thought it was supposed to be Skittles and rainbows and graffiti and our first argument I I was like I'm out of here but I had his art like we're totally different so we've just had to learn we had to learn that's beautiful you know I'm all for that self-growth crystal you know that's all you talking about now you got me glowing I'm in a new relationship again (laughs) (laughs) well I've been been accused of somebody who runs when it gets hard and I you know but I like it like that that's probably why (laughs) okay that's the thing. That's that's why marriage scares me because you can't leave when you just want to go. You can, but you you really can't it's just be like, like you can, but you can't. You know what I mean? Especially and just you're serious. You know, Angel, I'm learning. You know, like a lot of times we just automatically assume things, and then especially as a, as creators, so we assume it, and then we have written a whole script mm-hmm. of things in our head, and then when we get to the end of that script, whatever the play out was, we mad. We got an attitude right. instead yep. of just saying, "Hey, did you mean such and such and such?" Because that stuff, men are from Venus and women Mars, or whichever way it goes, it's totally true because. The stuff we be playing in our head and getting mad at and having a whole attitude, they ain't even thinking that way. Yeah, and that's why I'm that's why I'm not an advocate of snooping around and finding stuff because whatever you find, you will provide context and a story to go with it. And you will never ever give the other person the benefit of the doubt that maybe you're delusional just a little bit. You I have, will marry I have never, that story and hold them never, accountable. I have never huh? snooped. I have never snooped and gone in a man's phone ever. I'm like, that's not my job. I'm like, I if it's meant to be revealed, it'll be revealed. I have. I have. Yeah, <laughs> I have. Yeah, you probably I have. have it only because of the locking situation. You know what I'm saying? I can't. No, I have in the past. No, I'm, not like, to, I'm not gonna risk getting caught if I don't know the password. But if it's right, I've been in there and been like, let me, yeah. Let me look at that real quick. Lock it up. Yeah, yeah let me look at I've yeah. had, he's, he's gone to the store and left the phone there. My friends are like, you don't touch it? I'm like, no. They're like, girl, you a different kind of girl. Y'all talking about <laughs> phones. I'm talking about drawers. Oh, you going I've been stuff. through drawers and closets oh. and photo albums. I was oh, going yeah, way to too far. Too Let me tell you how. Oh, I'm going to just tell it because I got to testify to help somebody. <laughs> Ladies, don't go, through the, don't go through them people's stuff because it's not your business. Let me tell you how I was very violating. I watched his wedding tape. <laughs> you had time to put the tape in the VCR and watch the whole damn wedding? But well, why did you care about that if, if he wasn't yeah, with the wife no. anymore? Well, she was uh, um, when did excuse me? When did crazy ever make sense? Because oh, I was no, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. You just want to see how they was walking down the aisle together. Right. Girl. Oh, I was look, crazy. Oh, look at him all in love and shit. Look how he was holding his wife. Dress she got on. Who? What the 
they party at? How many people they got in their party? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. The brain is a powerful thing, and we can't have, have you tripping. control. I posted it yesterday. Think about what you're thinking about because we have the power to think and go into some negative places or some doubtful places and being hard on ourselves. And thank goodness we are all, because we're all on this, we're all strong enough to not allow that to overtake us or to pull out of those moments. But mm -hmm. everybody can't. Everybody mm -hmm. can't. So the last time I was that kind of crazy, ago. the last time I was that kind of crazy, a guy that I had not, we hadn't touched each other in years. We were been friends. We stopped doing other stuff. And he let me know that he was getting married. And I had a complete emotional breakdown and wow. even he was kind of like we have not touched each other in years and i said how <laughs> dare you get married when i tell you that right. i didn't understand that he was getting married everybody's like you really were mad i'm like i was livid for like a weekend i couldn't get over it i think we all have one that's like you better not never get married before exactly. i get married <laughs> <laughs> not never. and then i'm like what well, and then of course i'm like why didn't he choose me and then my friends are like did you want him no 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 he's not trustworthy but i don't but that's right. not the point the point is <laughs> he's not trustworthy <laughs> Yeah, I realized I just had to stop. Oh, I'm sorry, Crystal. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I was saying that I just had to stop communicating with guys that were my exes that I still care like that for because it yeah. was some type of thing that was just always holding me back. So I don't even communicate no more. I don't do like happy birthday text or nothing like that. I took their contact out my phone. If they call me or send me a text, I send back like that one emoji that's like thumbs up. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> You know what happens whenever I stay now, currently, when I stay in contact with exes, whether they were ex fling or boyfriend or ex nobody, mm -hmm. what they do now is they, they, they text back smart ass comments because I, I post the pictures of, you know, homeboy on Instagram. Yeah. And I'm like, this is why yeah. I shouldn't hit you up because you're an asshole as opposed right. to, just, you know, so now I, talking to them doesn't serve any purpose well, at all. Thank you. When that's are you going to grow up and just say way. what you want to say instead of being like the kid in school pulling on my hair? You know exactly. what I mean? That's, that's yeah. exactly what the text back. I'm like, why don't you just say you jealous or you don't understand yeah. why you I listen. have a right to be happy? But and I really love snuggle nuts. Through, oh, I'm sorry. Let me clear this up for the people watching. I haven't been through a drawer, a, a man's um, dresser drawer in, in years. since probably <laughs> like um, 94. So You said you have a year? You said 94? In years, probably about 94. Just... And my future oh. husband out there looking for hilarious <laughs> angel why do you like snuggle nuts so much i just love it jackie when you post the food and i just feel like he's so nurturing and he's really attractive and you know he's big so you know you get to like really feel you know that those hugs and those big those big arms I, I like snuggle nuts for you. She's a nice guy, you know. But I feel bad when I have my when I have my period. I don't go over there. Is that does that make me am I am I a dog? I feel no. bad. No, I mean you guys got to remember. Y'all ain't that close. I want no. Yeah. I want to read in peace. You know the, the first day. I don't want to deal. You know you don't want to. Oh yeah, not the first day. Touching you on the first day, you're like ah. Yeah. Well, I learned my I learned a lot about me by using that flow app because I didn't know that my issue wasn't when I was. Uh, uh, on my period my issue is when i'm ovulating oh no i'm only saying one week out of the month right but what i'm saying is you know how you're you're doing your flow flow yeah. it, it's here issue? i'm talking about for me it's the ovulation that is when i'm most crazy not the uh, flow flow when the ovulating is what 10 days after i you know all my life i've never been able to get this right when is yeah, that's why i use the app that's why I use the app. And when I know I'm feeling a little crazy, I look at the app and I'd be like, oh, no wonder. And it's always the app be like, girl, you know. You know how many years <laughs> I've been bleeding and I still am surprised when I'm a total bitch and crying and I, I want to quit. And not then I start, and then I start bleeding even. and I'm like, oh, that's why I'm losing my mind. <laughs> But my problem is all these damn years, I still go to the store and be like, which ones I need? Like, I have to sit here and study the damn tampons in the past. Like, so what do I, like, what the fuck? You've been well, doing this for 80 years, years man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Crystal, well, what'd you say? I said, we should be able to go in there and touch the box with our eyes closed. Exactly. <laughs> no, I still yeah. walk, walk down the aisle like, do I want Kotex or tampons? Uh -huh. Do I want how long you been bleeding? Most of my life. Right. Why don't you just ridiculous? <laughs> okay, so yeah. I know. 
You know, part of my new organizational regime is that I have a whole section of feminine products. I don't, I, I got like a year supply in there. Like I don't go back and forth to the store anymore. I never have a surplus. And once what? Again, I'm 106 and I always be like, I got to go get some. Um, they teach me how like to have surplus of toilet paper, paper towels, anything. I have it in a container that every time it's that time, I have the the assortment, I have the the tampons, the heavy flow, oh, the overnight. <laughs> you got like a you got what a couple is, thing. Oh, okay. now, you almost about to go make me go get it. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Teach the young go girls how to no, stock no. up. It's, it's important to you. It's important to us. We want to see. Yeah. Oh, go Chris, get you know, go, don't tell me twice. Yeah, do not tell me twice it. about my like, organization. Remember last time she went and got that dress? Yo. Oh, no, she got her Spanx. What she get that time? Her Spanx dress. It was a Spanx dress. dress. A blue yeah. dress. So what, what's yeah. going on with you, Courtney? How have you been coping during all this? Girl, been God working, I guess, but not I guess. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Stressed out or working, but I need somebody to release the stress on. But I don't trust no outside pandemic dick or nothing. So I don't know. Go get tested well, with somebody. They, they, huh? But yeah, that's a good idea. She said, "Go get tested with somebody." It's, go you know, if you really go get tested with somebody, if you really got to get it done, they get a date. And like when you get your results negative, call it girl. Speaking of, so a cat that I went, um, that I dated, like, I'm sorry, went out on the date mm -hmm. five, six years ago. We have a good connection. We still see each other after that, but we went out on one date and um, lovely kissing session, all of that. So <laughs> I posted something last, <laughs> I posted something last week and he hit me up. Oh, you were set this way. You didn't have my, anyway, started some conversation. So he wants to come over and, you know, when are we going to get together? Okay, I don't know. Let's, whatever. But I'm about to get a test on Friday because I've been traveling and I've been seeing people. What's your testing situation like? He's like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't, you know, I respect that, but I don't, I don't need no test. I said, you don't need no test. Hey, oh, every told, human being needs a test. That's like him saying. He, he told me he comes to... before this. He come to LA all the time. He lives an hour away. So he's oh, I'm in LA all the time when he was saying, let's hook up. Okay, so you just told me you in LA all the time in a pandemic and the surge. Um, but you don't want he's so I said, Oh, you one of those. And so he don't wear a mask, he don't want Ooh, to test. Oh no, 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 no. Oh yeah, we gotta test. Yeah, gotta no. test, test. So like, I mean, I'm you. feeling him, but that's you know, that that's that was quick. That was that's, turn off. that's like that's yeah, that is. condom. That's like him saying, oh, then, I don't need no condom. Right. But then he blaming me because his idea to do something was to come over. And I said, mm. Uh -uh. Like, we on a date. <laughs> he picked me up. I don't have people just come. Like, you got to work your way up into this joint. You know what I mean? Yeah. This ain't mm -hmm. no coming yeah. through. Yeah. I don't get fucking pandemic or not. You're not about to play no Netflix and chill. We can go hiking. There's a lot of shit we can do outside. Okay. I will meet you. Perfect I know you today. will. We yeah. not, if we're not trying to see, what we trying to do then? I'm like, this we're not trying to die, nigga. At all. I ain't seen you in five years. I don't know what we're trying to do. You tell me, but it ain't this. It ain't starting here. So right. he's calling me difficult. Work. He's calling Thank you, you difficult? <laughs> he's, I'm the difficult one. I obviously must not want to get this started. I obviously, whatever, whatever, whatever. I said, well, no, because if you obviously really like me, you be you would have came up with something because right. it's not the first time I've said this to a dude. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. So that see? was a quick relationship. That lasted about uh, 36 hours. <laughs> <laughs> what is her name? You know, uh, Niche, the comedian on Instagram. Yeah, if you got to see her face, you'll know her. She posted, uh -huh. she posted, she's like, these two week, uh, these two week boyfriends be fun as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. next. And I'm okay. like, you know what? You, I remember those. You meet somebody, you swear all the chemistry yep. in the world. And yeah, it's hot and heavy, and then less than a month gone. Yeah, out of here. It'll be fun though. Every now and then, those, those will be what you need. Yeah. <laughs> so well, back. ladies, I brought it back. I yeah, got the I got oh, the yeah, exhibit. This is how she's coping. Oh, I like those things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So That's you cute. you I have one of these. Set up. Yeah. Yes, you put like all of your out. all and see it's all the different types. So it's like super. Yeah. You know the different colors. You can't really tell I, from the thing, but yeah, always, you know, on, 
Yeah, so have it organized and you replenish it when it's, you know. I'm still so ghetto. I had I remember when I was in LA recently and I was getting a lot of meetings and but they all had this gigantic basket in the women's bathroom filled with tampons. Yeah. And every time I'd be like Oof. <laughs> I'm stupid. in my purse. And I, so I, bad in there, I tell the receptionist, I'm like, thank you, lady. And they know I'm gonna go there and take right. the thank majority you. of them. <laughs> and I'm like, sorry, but these are free and they're sitting there. So that should have paid a good one. Yeah. That yes. is I'm getting them. Yeah. Yo, yeah. play text. I'm like, thank you, ladies, because I you saving me a trip. Ooh, that is too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Play text. I'm like ghetto, but yes, thank you. I'm, I'm one of the I'm the type that also has something like that in my um in my my purse or in my backpack. Like I have I a, in my, my car, a my variety car. pack of anything that I think I may need. And I always take it with me. And to hear and Arvin Mitchell played a joke on me. I don't know if y'all saw that. Um, Tish reposted it just recently where Arvin Mitchell, we were at comedy comedy union and Arvin Mitchell is in the green room pretending he's a female comic who needs tampons. I heard about that, yeah. <laughs> And I was like, girl, what I, I didn't know it was him. And so Tahir is on, you know, filming Arvin and they just cracking up. And they're like, Angel, you got, what else you got? I was like, girl, you need wipes. You need, um, you need, I was just sliding. Uh -oh. <laughs> helping. Uh, that's good though. That's good. That's funny and good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so, go ahead, Jackie. No, go ahead. Now I was going to oh. say, how have y'all been coping with all of it? I'm not going to lie that. I keep watching the news and I don't want to, but this stuff is bringing me down. Is it killing your spirits really? or is it just me? I love it. I've been on all day. I've been, I'm sorry. I'm kind of like happy with popcorn and putting ranch sauce on it. And, and I'm here for it. I want to watch it. I want <laughs> to watch too. it. I do. Crystal. I nah, 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 nah. Hey, hey Crystal, this is me. Okay. Watching it? <laughs> yes. 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 Love yeah. your job. We like, told them, Jackie. Love we told them when that man kneeled on <laughs> George Floyd's neck. We took the black community and the liberal community of other colors and nationalities told them systemic racism is here. And it was because all of them were employed and it was them all along. I love, I, you know what I love? I love how mad the, the news anchors are. They are yes. all liberal and they all pissed as hell. I'm like, so all y'all sure. Democrats and except Don Fox, except Fox. Except whoever Fox Don is Don as hell. Yeah. Uh -uh, but Fox talking about um all kind of nonsense and unrelated. Uh, um, they aspects. turned on him for a minute though. Fox was like, you know what? You might. Yeah, they be turned crazy. on him. They turned yeah. on him, but they yeah, they turned on. But him. they back on the bullshit. I mean, they they yeah. they still like um. What did it, Trump, um, Biden said something about the black people are getting, oh, the COVID, oh no, the small business loans. He's bringing something back to the minorities and the blacks. I turned mm -hmm. it another day. They they mad. This is racism. Isn't this in the constitution that if, you can't benefit because of anything, your race and your creed? If they do anything for our benefit, they lose their goddamn minds. They lose their goddamn mind. mind. They you don't want us to be happy or healthy or nothing. They don't want us to <laughs> live. Evil. You only want us you yeah, don't even want to close to you. You don't want me to have a job and and healthcare and be in love and have all my teeth. So you don't want nothing. nothing. Like, don't you realize you got all the free shit the whole time? You been affirmative yeah. action been for you. Because what's but, scary is this knowing how much this this knowing that all that hate is out there. Yeah, it makes I me know. it makes me like I go outside all the time. I'm around strangers, and most of y'all don't, don't like, like me. me. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, 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 that's the scary part. That's the scary part because you'd be like, mm. and when mm -hmm. I'm, you know what scares me now and it never used to scare me. I live like I'm on Riverside. So like everything's across the street and you know how you walk out and you wait for the car. And they, now I don't trust motherfuckers driving in their cars when they be like, okay. going, I'll be like, no, nah, you can go because I'm getting yeah. to get 10,000 points. <laughs> You're like, you ain't running my ass over on a Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. I, I know that's over. right. Sorry. And I've we never to be felt like that, that before in my life. Yeah, but yeah, because they don't and like us. 
Yeah, and see, I have because I grew up in Savannah, Georgia, where it is still segregated. There's a black mall, a white mall, a black skating ring, a white skating ring. There is. And so where Ahmad Arbery was shot and hunted when he was jogging is only about 45 minutes from where I grew up. Oh. So that whole um, scene at the Capitol where all the people I grew up seeing, all the pickup trucks with the Confederate flags, decals and a shotgun in the in the um, back windshield i saw all that growing up so this wasn't unfamiliar familiar to me at all what it was was justification that i'm not crazy and i'm not lying and i'm and i'm glad that finally america has to face its own mirror because the first thing they kept saying was this is not us and i'm like yes this it is show you right <laughs> this, this, you. This, this you boo this you What's and every other of- white person, they had some cousins down they 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 um bloodstream that was in cap at the yeah. capital. They had fifth or six cousin that was at the capital. But let me tell you, Sorry. it ain't all the hillbillies out there either. It it's is doctors not. and lawyers oh. and sergeants and generals. Oh, and that's regular, my point. Regular Caucasian people who aren't who aren't who aren't military country. police officers. But you see that one guy because I was they not ready for that fed life. He's snitching on the people that were working at the Capitol that were actually in Congress that were helping him. He sure is. That was good. How much do you, yeah. how much, how much privilege do you think you have where they had a, a an, an Olympian out there and he wore his Olympics jacket? Like, I'm mm-hmm. like, you, you, did you guys not know? Go to Amazon, buy a black bodysuit and a black ski mask. <laughs> or how about don't make a video guy with his work permit? With, yeah, with his yeah, with his um identity We're tag. Bad. Yeah, yeah. I need, they just, I'm like, I'm dumb. I'm like, I don't. I have not. I have not broken the law much, but I have enough to know. No, right. Keep your identity they out had, of it. They had. They would not. They really, in their wildest dreams, thought that they were going to be reprimanded for it. Yeah. They right. really thought that they were they were making videos. <laughs> we just stormed the Capitol. Fuck, fuck Pelosi. Kill that bitch. What? The congressman from West Virginia. This is whatever his name was. You know what I'm saying? Shooting his yeah. video. He out here in the rest. He's so stupid. The FBI, when this was going down, they were like, this is going to be, they probably were in, in disbelief. Like, how could this be easy, Er? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Faces in the camera, <laughs> like, <laughs> but you know, but you know what makes me feel like, you know, it's still. It's like they don't have enough anger and outrage for me. I don't like the fact that they have shock and awe. They're appalled. Like, I need you to be angry. And that, to me, is apparent because I went on the FBI website and I noticed that there's different categories for most wanted. There is domestic terrorism. There's terrorism. There's all these categories. Guess what their category is called? What? Capital domestic violence. Terror. No, what is capital it? violence. They are not listed under domestic terrorism. Go look, uh, FBI website. Capital violence. Yeah. And they have all their pictures, freeze frame from the videos, the, the ones that they're looking for, under capital violence. I'm going to send Don Lemon an email because he, he can't stand them either. I'm going to send him an it's email. It's domestic terrorism. Very yes. Yeah. You think, you think, do you think Trump is mentally ill? Like that's no. Yes. Just, yes. It has to Daddy be. fucked him up. Yes. Trump, uh, you got to watch that documentary of him on Netflix. It tells everything. The mother said when he was little, he she brought him and his brother some blocks. He took his brother's blocks and glued them together and then wouldn't share his. He was sick a long time. A long time. He, he recently requested that not re- uh, ordered that Ru- Rudy Giuliani not be paid legally right. because right. he said in my because, news today <laughs> because he couldn't keep him from getting uh, impeached a second time. Exactly. Exactly. You don't, you don't understand how the world works. You can't. Exactly. <laughs> and then it has come out that he's he's been uh, sued over thirty five hundred times of not paying people. Yeah. From carpenters to people working yep. at the casinos doing shit, he just finds yep. a way to be like walking out on bills. Just yep. not paying people. And now he's like, he's you horrible. couldn't keep me out of horrible. this mess, so I'm, you're not getting the paycheck? Nigga, I will... <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine? I'm saying it wasn't good or it wasn't on time. And he's not arrested. Let me tell you good. something. January 20th, this man is going to have... He has so many indictments, subpoenas. Oh, I didn't come up. 
Bible. I don't even yeah. know how they're gonna put it in order. Are they just gonna put it in order of date or or I, or I, seriousness? <laughs> Marilago don't, don't even want Marilago told him don't even come over here. Okay, isn't that good? I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Cornelia Stradwick. I've been calling you Sedwick for years. Hey, Stradwick. Cornelia. You've got to knock it off, okay? I don't know, who's, I don't know who Sedwick is. First of all, happy Founders Day, Sora. Thank you. Thanks, girl. Okay, happy you were Delta, Delta Cornelia? Of course. Delta said in the house. They, they didn't want me when I was in college. Because <laughs> <laughs> clearly I would have played Delta. Now. Clearly, well, I'm, I'm Delta material. Jackie, where'd you go? You went to school in New York? Yeah, I went to City College in Manhattan. You can still do grad chapter. She sure could. Girl, we all right now. <laughs> Sorry, no. I she tried. said I we. Yeah. Courtney's like, would you grow up? That, that well, don't you matter just no more. keep doing what you're doing and become honorary. You can become right. honorary. Just keep right. Wait till they come to you. They gonna come to you. Okay, because if I go to them now, I'm gonna be bitter. Like, you bitches didn't want me back in the day. Uh-huh. Right. They're gonna be that's, like, that's not how you that's not how you get us to want you. I'm like, my bad, sorry. No, Jackie <laughs> Petty, Jackie Petty, she'll go be an AKA just because. <laughs> they get that. She she had, AKA function. She and Kamala. She and Kamala, Kamala having interviews and stuff. <laughs> so Cornelia, how have you been coping? throughout all this you know every time we would do an episode of this things would get would get worse and worse and that was the worst <laughs> it's ever been yeah how how have you been coping i'm good i got me a new therapist you know <laughs> what therapist. happened with the old one what happened that's all yeah, i had an old one and right before covid happened i wasn't high risk so she was like this one we thought COVID was gonna be like for two weeks she was like we'll circle back after this is done i was like all right cool girl i'll see you in like a month no, no, it's been almost a year, but hmm. I, my therapist, the, the other one, she was um, like Iranian. She was like, she was um, Israeli, like from that area. Mm-hmm. And I wanted a black woman. So now I have a black woman helping me along the way. Here's the problem. Not you, not you me. When, when this, a couple of months ago, I was on Talkspace and I, I got a therapist and it was a black woman who was temporarily licensed because they were expanding license rules because everyone needs therapy. And Mm -hmm. well, when I was talking to her video chat, it felt too girlfriendy that I didn't really feel like I I wasn't receiving the help. It became Mm -hmm. like me kicking it with Angel, which is beautiful. (laughs) But I needed, I, I, I do need a little bit of the girlfriend lingo to be gone. Mm-hmm. And I need for you to be like, well, Miss Jackie and so and so. But me and her were like, girl, and you know, and uh, and I'm like, this is yeah, too like convo. I need help. You yeah. Know, what what I've noticed though, because of who we are and our personalities, we could talk to anybody. That's gonna happen anyway. It Even is, if right. you get with the white, the old white lady. After a while, the old white lady gonna be like, <laughs> and she don't want to chop it up. <laughs> right. Y'all keep in. We can't help it. Like yeah, and my therapist, my therapist, she'll be like, "You need to say that on stage." I'm like, "Wait a minute, now." That's not what you're here for. <laughs> I don't need help with material. <laughs> I'm giving you tips. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen. And then after I joined and did it with her, she sent me a survey. I just felt like she was nosy. Is that ridiculous? Because they got to be to know who you are. She had too many questions. Get a new one. Forget her then. You know, yeah, she was great. I don't if she ever sees it because because she looked me up, which I also. Cause when they ask what you do and I had to tell them that I'm like, you know, I probably need to give her my stage name. And she Googled me. And I was like, I don't want you Googling me. <laughs> I just Google need you to me, take like... my word for it and don't investigate. Don't look up shit. Let's just oh, talk. Wow. And then she oh. told you she Googled you? Well, I guess she got to tell you, huh? Well, we were talking about my job and whatever. And I just, and part of the stress was part of uh, part of the job and how it was affecting my life. So I had to be like, all right, you know what? My I go by this name, this way. And she's like, oh, and then in, in the messaging, she's like, I looked you up. I was like, God damn it. Now it's going to change the whole dynamic right. of what we're doing. But you know what? It just like dating. Like, don't look. Yes. Up. I'm like, I don't need don't, no background check. This is just face value. But you remember, though, Jackie, a part of what we do does dictate what, how we are interacting in relationships and in the world. So, you know, a part of the help is you have re- these relationship, you know, things you want to sort out, family stuff, dynamic you want to sort out. Yeah. You being Jackie Fabulous got a lot to do with it. I got to mm-hmm. commit. I know. That's That's true. I, have, I have commitment issues with everything and everyone. Job, mm-hmm. people, friends, men. I just don't like being committed to nothing. And that's probably mm-hmm. a part of the problem. 
Yeah. You knew. Yeah. Yeah. Different, Lou. Hi. Hi, hi girl. Hey, y'all. Yeah. So, hi. Cool. You're a whole no, different race now. Out there? You lost the weight, Lulu? Did I? I did not, but thank you. <laughs> You look slim, my girl. You look beautiful. Leave your hair alone. Thank you. I got low key dumped today, so that's cool. What? Uh, yeah, low key what? Uh, I, I love low key dumped. I love Tell connecting us. with Lou because there's always going to be a little bit of a dramatic Something. story about a man, and I I love it. What happened? Uh, I, I don't. You I don't her. love that. I don't love that. How about no, no, we I don't mean, if, if it's serious, I don't love it. But every but a fun story, yeah. What happened? All right, let's uh, get into it. The yes. gamer. Is it the Zoom oh, guy? They... Talk about, hey, everybody. I'm, I'm sorry, my bad. I, the All right, let's is how, are we, how are we coping? <laughs> and uh, Crystal's getting back with her husband after two years being apart. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Angel wait, wait, got a new man. It's called, uh, what is it called, Angel? The, the home edit. The home, but she's organizing the shit out of her life, and she's in love. <laughs> she directs to, to the container store. Wait, Angel, you got a man too? Is that what you in love? No, girl, Cadelia, they call him my new hobby, my boyfriend, because Crystal said I'm glowing as I'm talking so about it. Happy about it. I mean, <laughs> grinning like, and you could do this, and you could do that. Like she, got, like she got a new dick. Wait a minute, yeah. but why did I make a TikTok about it? <laughs> See? She's excited. That's your man. Makes you happy. It. Like she went and got the dress. She said, "Y'all want to see it?" We was like, "Of course, I'll go and get it." And Courtney had a guy that she was into, but he doesn't wear a mask and doesn't believe in all this stuff. And he wants to be with her physically. And she's like, if you like me, you would care about your own health and mine. And no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that lasted for 36 yeah. hours. Yeah. <clears throat> and wow. Cornelia got a new therapist. And yeah. every Tuesday at 6 o'clock. Yes. Right? So it's she, 6 30. Yeah, me and me and me and Doc we on there chit chatting. Hey. Are you videoing? Are you are you messaging? Well both. Yeah, we do on Zoom. Yeah, it's over Zoom. Oh Zoom. So uh-huh. now we're on to you. You you had a hinge date a few days ago. How did that go? Oh, that one was trash. That oh, one. you what? back on hinge? Yeah, I got back on hinge. I was bored, girl. My homegirl's like, try it again. There's new people on there this time. I was like, uh, all right. That's I true. Guess. She right. So who'd you get dumped by? Uh, no, this guy that I was, we was talking for like five weeks, uh, every day, like hours on the phone and all this other good stuff. And we were supposed to meet up on Saturday and he called me this morning. <laughs> Everything I was telling him I wasn't feeling too good. He called me, just check on me this morning. Um, I, I don't know if he, he says sometimes he can't get my jokes. So I don't know if he's like, I don't know if you're serious or you're joking. I'm like, oh God, I don't have time oh, to help God. you figure me out, man. I was, <laughs> like, I, I was like, well, okay. And I even comment. I was like, you're, you're getting better at learning me. Like you're getting better at like understanding my jokes. All right, cool. We're moving forward. So, it, you know, it, the conversations are getting a little nasty, a little heated or whatever. whatever. So he's like, yo, what's up? We going to meet up. That's good. And we were supposed to meet up next Saturday. But he called me this morning and we was on the phone. He was like, yo, um, are you free Saturday? And I was like, yeah, what's good? You trying to win? He's like, I was like, yeah, I thought you had to work because he's a Marine. And I was like, yo, okay. I- Ooh, so uh, snuggle nuts. He's a Marine. He's 37. He don't got no kids. Uh, he got 820 credit score. He about to retire. I, was like, I love oh. a Marine. They, they, they Where delicious. you meet him at? Girl, yeah. he, found, he found me on my, on my video game stream. Cause he was on the network looking at something else, and he was like, "Oh, I ain't never seen no like beautiful ass gamer before, so I'm gonna check her out." And then we just started kicking it in the chat, and then from the chat to texting, and like Nick was calling me every day, texting me every morning, and then literally today he was like, "Yo, let's link up on Saturday," and I was like, "Bet." So that was a legit time frame. Ten thirty a.m. We were on the phone. He's like, "Yo, let me call you back. You have to do some work." I'm like, "Bet." I didn't talk to him for like maybe 30 minutes. I text him. I was like, yo, um, just let me know <clears throat> for sure about a Saturday. 40 minutes go by. He texts me and he says, something don't feel right. I'm going to fall back. What? I said, what? Huh? what? And, and, yeah. His I wife said, was to come back in town or something. Something, something, something happened. <laughs> I got said, nothing to do with you. I, I ain't said, you at all. I was like, huh? Yeah. What? I was like, you can't explain? Like... We we th- forty minutes ago we was good like right. and I get it we was, we was texting I was like we was just joking like nothing crazy I didn't say anything crazy and I was like I don't know if you thought if you, a joke you misinterpreted I was like I don't know but how in forty minutes it go from we meeting yeah. on Saturday to something don't feel right I'm gonna fall back 
and then they don't feel right. And then never responded. Some other things happened. Other you know, he never happened. responded. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Crystal. Oh, that's okay. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying he never responded back. No. Niggas are Even weird. And that's all I said. I was like, niggas is weird, man. I was like, <laughs> for five weeks, you've been calling me every, like we had an argument the other day, not even an argument, just like a misunderstanding. And when he don't want to talk to me, he'll just ignore me. And I was just like, I don't oh, like that. Yeah, no. No, I don't no, like, no. first of all, I don't, I was like, so he, and he goes, I wasn't ignoring you. I just didn't want to reply. I'm like, nigga, that's ignoring that's the same. Yeah. Look it up in a dictionary. Yeah. And you I know what? Like, we at the age, God going to get them out of here real quick. Like when girl. at this age, he get them, he get these people up out of here ASAP. If he's supposed to be around, he's going to be like, all right, they got to go. You know, you know so, so crazy? Is he, is. he out. The, the power of prayer, right? Because, you know, I pray I every day. Say, I, every time I meet a guy, I pray. I'm like, God, oh. if you know he about to waste my time, get him out of here. And he I and literally, because we was like on a cycle of like, now we're speaking every day. We're speaking on the phone for hours and hours and hours and getting to know each other. I'm like, time is being invested in shit. So I'm like, and I prayed upon it. And I was like, God, let me know. Like, if I don't want to waste my time. Like, if this is somebody I should continue to get to know, let it happen. But if not, pull this, pull this out quick. Literally two days. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, you know yes, whenever, whenever, God, whenever God snatches, whenever God snatches them away, it it's always abrupt and it hurts your feelings. Yeah. Yeah. When I say you, you know, look, I was jamming <laughs> the funniest shit though. Like, I'm like, yo, my life is a movie. I had just got off the phone with him and I called my girls. I was like, bitch, this might be my husband. <laughs> 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 and that's why yo, I did that. I was as soon as you claim him. Girl, I was, was dancing. Like, I was mm-hmm. dancing up on the steps. Like, I'm going to go get my outfit for Saturday right. for my husband, <laughs> my husband. And I was sitting at the desk. I was like, let me do this work. And I was sitting at the desk. And I, mind you, I had texted him. So I was expecting a reply like, yeah, it's all good, whatever. And I was like, what? <laughs> I took the glasses off. I was, like, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, nigga, what? <laughs> Huh? I'm, I'm sorry. You know, know what happens? Not like, even just him. Whenever I get excited, something go really wrong. Like yeah. I, I realize now. Like if I know I have a, I'm gonna see him on Friday night, and I do too much to get excited, something happens where I can't go, where I start bleeding or something. I'm like, God is like, you need to keep the temperature neutral all yeah. the time. And, like even if you in love, you can't get excited about no man because then it, something always falls apart. You sounded real Jamaican right there, and I love that. I did, my bad. Sorry. I'm- Jackie, did you all see, did you all see, or, or have you been watching on OWN that show Ready to Love? No, yeah. somebody else told me to watch that. Okay, I so I learned I a lot that. about what you said. Like, it, it's like, demonstrated. They really demonstrated the girls who wound up at the end with the guys fighting over her was the girl that just was very nonchalant through the whole process. And the women who claimed the guy and got excited about the guy wound up getting eliminated. And I was saying that, yeah, I was saying that it was demonstrated. What y'all are saying was demonstrated on that show. The only reason why I snuck on that up on the media, because I don't, I don't be looking for him. But that's the thing. It just like, it was like, I don't, I wasn't verbally saying this to him, but I was just, you know, talking to my girls. But like I said, he, he hit me up. He was like, yo, let's go Saturday. Like, I was like, I thought you were supposed to work this weekend. He's like, don't worry about that. Are you free Saturday? I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's wait. That's you crazy. Gotta little, you ask him what happened? You got to remember. You he never to, responded. You're going to need somebody that can go with you to the next level, right? So these men that we linking up with now, they, some of them ain't it. They can't go there. So I he got to get yeah, up out of here again. He got to. He got. He can't stay. You probably gonna meet your dude when you get to like right when you get to that level that you're supposed to be at, like that beginning peak. So he can be there with you to ride the wave. But these other little dusties, they can't go. They can't <laughs> hopefully, go. Hopefully, Michael oh. B will be done with Lori by then. You know? My God. <laughs> Girl, that's he also why I'm not so about, okay. snuggle, about snuggle because I'm like, I don't think he can go with me to the next level, but for here, we'll have some fun. You're not gonna take him to the next level? I don't want to take no man nowhere. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna well, lie, and I, so I you all know that I'm, I'm in love, but if he don't, if he don't get his shit together, I'm like, right now, we're just having a good time. I'm still in pandemic mode, 
Jackie, the moment they approach you about a reality show, please say yes, because I will watch your show. I don't with have any snuggle to nuts. Watch. It's like one moment, your post and snuggle nuts, what you're saying, they don't ever match. No, right. they don't. I have a match. <laughs> it's like, that's why, that's why I'm intrigued. That's why you bring us in, because we have to follow you to see how you feeling in this moment. Because one moment, snuggle nuts got the oxtails and cabbage and that rice. Really and everything. That's just him <laughs> nice being nice in the moment. I can take snuggle nuts along any ride, honey. You can take snuggle nuts. You you better be careful. Snuggle nuts. Snuggle nuts. Listen, hey, I'm Angel. And if Jackie don't do you right in the next year, I need you to have some self-esteem and call me. Okay? She'll still be cool with me because me and Jackie will always be cool. I will give him a good referral because I know what he's good at and what he's not good at. Angel started this show talking about complimenting uh, Jackie's man. Talking about he big, he handsome, he cook. Yeah. And that's why and, I came out. And if he, and if I find out he into organizing, it's over. He's very, he, yeah, he is, he's, he's neat in that. If I leave dishes in his sink, he's like, so you know the dishes. And I'm like, this is why I don't want to get married. I, I want to leave dishes in the sink for six months. I don't want nobody telling me what to do, but I'm sorry, Lou, that this happened to you. And you, I don't like when men. I know. I'm sorry, Lou. It's all good, y'all. Another it was a one less... bites the dust. And that's all I could say is another one bites the dust. It hurts. My feelings is super hurt because it's like le- legit in 30 minutes was like a complete different story. So I'm like, what? Like, you know, you start to look at yourself like, what did I say? Like, what did I do? I do? Like, it's never you. Yeah, it's never you. you. It's, it's never- gotta be a little bit of me, like a little. No. Maybe he went and we were talking about this earlier. Maybe he googled you, investigated you, or something. And something. can't and handle he, it. He had, can't he, handle it. He thought, "Oh, she's this." No, yeah. he's. I but he's had. I feel like he, he did a background on you, or, he, or dug he, into he it. Just my like, videos. He 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 does. He he knows who I am. But mm. you know it's what, either it two even... things that I think happened. I think he either was caught up in some bullshit that he didn't let you know, or two, he just got intimidated and was like, because same way we talk ourselves out of good shit and get in our head, men do it 10 times worse. So he probably looked at you and was like, I can't. Yeah. What? His or What's three, his one? other bitch saw the message. Uh, Tom, but yeah, I'm going to see you like on Saturday. Woman involved. He I, feel like some, somebody, I feel like he got busted book. and he had to get yeah. out of it fast. Either way, it ain't your so responsibility it, to figure it out. And, and it's great for that. So fuck. I just wish, yeah. I just wish I would have had like, like when things end so abruptly like that. I'm always like, damn, that's how little you thought of of what whatever we was going through. Like you couldn't even give me a, a, a explanation. You just sent me a text right. message and say something doesn't feel right. I'm gonna I'm gonna fall back. Like that's what I get. Not a conversation. When, or, whenever I've mentality, been ghost, right? whenever I've been ghosted by a guy that I saw had potential, it it hurts like hell. But yeah. literally, right after the hurt goes away, you're like, oh, thank God. Right. Like, you're going to get thank this. Thank God, because you would have been having to put up with his communication style and him doing that that whole time. Mm-hmm. He would have been doing that in the relationship, and it would have been too much. That would have been, his, that'd been the way he would conduct dating dating you, where I can't he's, do that. he's in, and then he's gone. Yeah. And you don't want somebody really? in and out. And, and honestly, I, afterwards, I was like when I was coming home and I was driving home, I was like, you know, I prayed about it because I was like, you know what? And I flipped it, Camille. I was like, you know what? Thank you. Thank you, because maybe there's something I didn't see. And uh, whether, mm-hmm. rather than, because when I love, I love hard. And, it, you know, what if I would have, like, something, went, maybe we would have further. Maybe I would have let him right. smash. And then he started acting like this. And I'm like, Ooh. oh, I can't. It's always Thank good God you, you weren't as in. It's yeah. always good when they show you this stuff before you smash. That's yeah. right. And usually, I get that when the assholes act like that, it's always pre-smash. I'm always grateful. My God, thank God. They can't hold it in. They can't hold it in. He's going to come back, too. He's going to call. He's going to take you again, I don't don't think so. I don't. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. We just got to put about when, but he's coming back. Yeah. I don't want it. For you to dip out on me, like. But you don't want, you don't want him back, but they always. They always going to ring your, say something. And act like they I say within the next 30 days. That's my way oh, to yeah. within 30 days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 30 I, mean, days I, had a pool. I wish I had a pool. Before <laughs> Valentine's Day, I guarantee you he's going to have Oh, yeah. Well, he's I have one that checks in. I'll put I have a wage one that checks in. Oh, wait. <laughs> I have one that checks in every six months to see if I didn't forget. I'm like, 
<laughs> no. Well, actually, love to see uh, Courtney's text messages and you know all that stuff. I bet that was that's so entertaining. What's going on <laughs> right, in her phone? He's not going to reappear before Valentine's Day. He's going to wait till after that. Yeah. Any guy that's about mm. to bullshit will is not gonna do anything right now. It's after that's Valentine's true. Day. I'm so it's gonna be it. when he see you on something. That's always that in that route. Like I saw you doing your thing. You was looking good. <laughs> oh, that was funny. You looking good out there, girl. Or, or the like, next time, the or, 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 or and he'll see one of your pictures where you're looking cute. He's gonna like the picture at least. Yeah. He's not gonna. They he, never do. He ain't going no. nowhere. You he be, be watching this right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he back to being a fan. That's where you're gonna stay, nigga. You yeah. know, I'm gonna treat okay. you like a fan. I'm gonna yeah. treat you like yeah. the rest of these 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 weirdo fans. That's where you're gonna fall right in that category. Right. So I'm Gucci, it's man. I don't never fan. double back. I never double back. If mm-hmm. you if, if, if it, I can understand if you came to me and been like, yo, X, Y, and Z, yo, maybe I'm a little nervous or or, or whatever, or just be whatever. Like, Yo, I got another bitch. Like, all right, cool, handle that. And you know, and active military, they be having double lives. I've had a few of the military dudes. They be having full families in Virginia. And you, Lulu, know, you know that. You this in Virginia. That's so- <laughs> they do. Military, because military, they're so hard to track and they're so private. Whether they're because of their job or whatever, that they be having a whole thing going on and and but but a full blown girlfriend at the same time. But can't mm-hmm. they get like reprimanded in military for like for having doing if that? If they move? get busted, but they don't get. You know how these guys live. These, these guys are dating everyone. He gets in out of military. He gets out of six months, and apparently the Marines is a little bit different than the oh, Army. He's active. Yeah, he's active. He's on the base, like right now. No, like he, girl, that's where he lives. Where? So, what city? Where? where he's at, he's at Pendleton. Be here, those are the biggest homes. And yeah. uh, oh, I know he a ho. He got never mind. Girl, uh, I, so, I remember Johnny been all over Camp Pendleton. They are so, all over there. Yeah, I'm just like <laughs> Let's take a field trip to Camp Pendleton. Let's take a Camp I'm Pendleton with it. field I could trip. Find, I could find me another one. That ain't every, nothing. Every Marine I've ever fucked around with was like one. One, we were a couple. He he got deployed, left me his car, and when he came back. I got a phone call from some random woman that said his phone, my phone number was all up. It was back in the day when he had the phone bill. She's like, your number yeah. is on every five pages of this phone bill. And Ooh. when I confronted him, he was like, he didn't have anything to say because he was living a double life because he, wow. he figured I, I had no way of checking anything. Mm-hmm. At least he left you the car. <laughs> <laughs> Not to keep, but to watch what he was gone for a year. That was considerate. Yeah, and I'm all like, "This is my baby's car. He's a sergeant, blah, 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 like an idiot." Uh, but I'm just gonna focus on these dreams right now. I got right. a lot on my plate. God has blessed me with a lot of things to do, so I'm gonna just do that. Cause these dudes is weird. These like they're weird. It's not even like they they they're, they're whack or they ain't shit. They're just weird. Weird, like, just, like it's weird. It is weird. Like bro, for the like we did all of this. All this bonding and shit. You got all this free time and free emotional energy to be like invested in people and appealing. Like, and if you wanted, to, and if you wanted to smash, up. why wouldn't you see it through? Like you were there at the finish line. He a weirdo. That's it, girl. That's Good weird. riddance. Because yeah. he would have been. He would have just gotten weirder. He got they work. Don't decrease yeah. in weird. They get weirder. So they you get more been more with all weird. kind of stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm, girl. They lie when they don't have to lie. I mean, they just, I'm like, you didn't have no reason to lie to me. We're not a couple. At all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I, like I said, I'm going to just move forward. And, and, they're, and they're allowed to be weird because there are a lot of women that let the weirdness, they date the weird, they, they date through the weird. My shit was just like, what do you mean something feels, something don't feel right? Like, what do you, what happened? Who, who was in your ear for 40 minutes? The past right, 40 right. minutes. What don't feel right? Saturday? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. it, feels like it feels like he researched stuff. Like, he, he may have looked at some of the episodes from this and heard you talking about guys get weird when they don't think that they're the only one in your life. Or when, or, or when you have a history. They research and they snoop yeah. too. Or, or you're going to tell all of his business. He be listening to my my stream. He he hears me talk about niggas. Do he got friends? Do he got like a? Because a lot of times it be these ashy homeboys that be putting these seeds of doubt into their ear. <laughs> ashy like, you know homeboys. she uh she got is she got a lot of followers, but dog, you know how they be doing. Yep, he they do. Was like, yeah, you right. And then and they gonna go, go out on a one right. day, Cornelia. 
he's invested all this. I would no, think that's not it, enough to not go out. It'd be the same. There'd be like a lot of grown men who still got ashy. And, and, and it'd be hater be friends. Like, she like, probably a hoe. They'd be jealous of her friends. And look, <laughs> He it'd be, got the, it'd be the, the question of friends that be like, she got a fat ass. You sure she not fucking? That's what friends do. Yeah, because yeah, he didn't believe her. He was like, you got to be talking to somebody else, right? I was like, you're like, I'm, you're not, like, I'm busy. You're I don't have time. Mailman, I was like, yo, all I see every day. I'm talking about. I told him I was like, yo, I'm very busy, right? If I'm if I'm investing time and hours on the phone with you, you think I'm gonna invest hours on a time and phone with another? Right. Man? You and got it twice. That's a ship. You need a W two for that shit. I Girl, got that two times, three times. I and then I be smoking, and I'm gonna forget the lies that I told the next nigga. And then I be fucking up my lies, and I'm like, I don't got time for that. They don't understand that it's not enough time to juggle men. I don't know how they do it or why, but I, for me, I'm like, I don't have the desire to get to know another been, human being. Y'all know though what I've been seeing though lately. A lot of men are intimidated by us being be- that busy. Lately, I've been bumping into a, a, a couple of dudes who be like, why are you so busy? Why you work so much? What are you doing? <laughs> they not used to us <laughs> being like, getting it, getting it, getting it. So maybe the fact that you had a lot of stuff to do, he probably was like, but, but we this will is the never thing, know. This is, this is the thing. He knew all of this before. All of that. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Let me tell you, it's always something. There's nothing in 40 minutes. It's always something you never know. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm just saying, there's nothing it's always 40, something you girl. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, boo. Go ahead, Lou. I said there's nothing in 40 minutes that he could have found right. that was so detrimental to everything that we was talking about. He knew all these things. He knew how busy I am. He knew he, he how he found me was at work. He knows. He knows. All these things the he knows. The fact that it was so sudden makes me think something happened, like a, a text from a wife or a girlfriend. I'm coming into town. I'll see you when you get back. It something happened in that hour span that was so I gotta get I gotta I gotta ditch this chick because so and so is coming back around. Something happened. And what I'm saying, was- every time this happens is the the thing you never thought of. We coming up with all these damn excuses. It's gonna be some shit we ain't never thought of, and that's gonna be the answer. So so okay so we got an argument this is why we got an argument because i told him i was like i need to see i need to facetime you more like and he got mad at that and then i was like at the end of the conversation i said wait, to wait, him, I was what like, was his argument he was there's no argument excuse what's his excuse i mean um what did he say i don't really do facetime i'm like but yeah he's we, intimidated we, and then he got, he was like, I'm a little, I'm a little, he's like, I'm not even going to front because at first his picture was like, kind of, I'm only seeing him through internet. I was like, nigga, you catfish. Why are you so fine? Oh, he's he catfish. Little, and yeah, then he was, he's like, catfish, he was like, he was like, he was like, um, oh, the fact that you thought I was catfish a little bit. He's like, I thought I was a little intimidated because I was like, I need to talk to you. See how you talk, how you move, what's your mannerisms? Like, what, like, what facial expressions you're doing? Like, that's how you get to know people. If I see you in person, I'm not going to be like, yeah, bro. Uh, like, <laughs> just text me like no nah, we gonna be here right yeah so he was like he don't do facetime like that like we facetime once for real for real and i was like i mean a little bit more i need and he don't do pictures i'm like yo I, this is my world this is my that's land. how they do on catfish girl that's how they yeah, really do got, it got too close to the date and he just you know, he was like man he can't they wait until like days and get it together so you, you have facetimed him before yes Okay, so it's him. Did he look yes. like his pictures? Could yeah. you see him? Was yeah, it waist him. up or down? Yeah, the whole body. <laughs> he was in the car. We were sitting. Yeah. We were talking in the car. He probably I see his face. His, well, he could have been his cousin. They do that too. They'd be like, "It's his boy or his cousin." He could have. Get that. If, you, if he know he's trying to holler at you, I don't. Look at that. That don't, 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 don't make no sense. But yeah, but 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 two days. We ain't gonna figure it out. Oh, we're gonna figure it out, goddammit. it. Lulu, no, no, this is my question because my 36 hour date wanted to come over to my crib. He was like, We can just buy some. He said, I, I promised to cook him dinner years ago, whatever. I don't remember that. So he was like, We can just go grocery shopping and then you can cook. I'm like, No, that don't sound right. But anyway, I just didn't want him over here on the first date. I don't do that. So him thinking his excuse is there's nothing to do. It's we in a pandemic. So I just want to know what was your date? What was y'all gonna do? Because you obviously was going outside. It, he was orchestrating a date. That was the plan. Oh, you didn't get the details. You don't know no, what you're we, do. I was like, okay, because it was supposed to be for next Saturday. Because at first right. he was like, because you know the 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 basketball games they have limited seating. 
So he's like, yo, you down to go to a basketball game? I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm down to go to a basketball game. Let's go. He's like, all right, because he's working this weekend. He was like, I'm going to figure out what dates. Let's see what's going on, see what the, the how to get that going. But I was like, yo, ain't shit to do. So we got to be creative with a date. Like, let's just meet up somewhere right. and like go get something. So that was supposed to be for Saturday. So that's what was me hitting him up today. Like, yo, let me know what we doing Saturday and what time. Because he was like, can we meet up early? Because I don't really feel like driving all the way back to base at night but i'm i'm if i have to i will cool i was like we can meet up dumb early early in the day ain't no traffic why he can't meet you camp Pendleton is easy to get to where ain't no cars on the road maybe he don't drive at night he can't see during the dark <laughs> no it's as simple as see how girls be making up all types of excuses <laughs> <laughs> nigga blind know. he blind <laughs> He's blind. Trying to see, he don't FaceTime. He don't look how he need to. Okay. That's Ooh, what I, mean. I think so. He, he, sent me, he sent me a picture yesterday of him working out. He looked fine. What's the picture from like 2010? <laughs> oh, he, I deleted all that shit, girl. When, once you once you do me dirty, I'm done. I block you on all my social media. I, I delete all your pictures. Bye. Bye bye bye, Listen, bye 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 bye. I was talking to this dude on hinge like many, many, many months ago. And we talked for maybe two weeks. Saw his pictures on the app. Oh, he cute. Girl got on the FaceTime. Them pictures was from 09. Same, same. <laughs> that's why he was, was like, Jackie. He was like, I went on a hinge date the other day. The dude didn't look nothing like the pictures on the hinge. Uh, that's why I deleted hinge. I was like, I'm not doing this twice. Twice. The first dude. I sat down and think that they're going to get away with it. The first dude, oh. he knew we had to FaceTime. He was like, I was like, we going to FaceTime. Seven o'clock. You had ample amount of time. Time to FaceTime, it's pitch black. I was like, why what? is it dark? <laughs> he gonna say, he gonna say, I don't got no light in my bedroom. I said, oh. <laughs> what? And are you going to the kitchen, man? Are you photographs? Where the fuck are your lights? And then he said, hold on, let me go in the hallway. And I'm gonna turn the hallway light on. I said, oh. We had lights, so weird. Much, but he put, put pictures up from 09. They and got he, lights. And then he gonna say, <laughs> his, his t-shirt was mad wrinkly. And he was in it, and then he did. Uh, he asked me a question. He was like, "Like, like I answered the question." He goes, "But you know what?" <sighs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you write this shit down. What are you like? I don't know how to say this. What uh -huh. are you doing? <laughs> uh -huh. You know what? Never mind. I said, "What the fuck?" <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is happening with y'all? What is wrong? And then he was like, yeah, just let me know about Saturday. I right. And I hung up and I matched. I was like, y'all weird, man. And I don't know what's in the water. It's like, oh, it's like that they don't expect you to like them back. So like when you- They when don't you, like themselves. They're, they're, those aren't confident men. Insecure. Yeah. yeah. Those are insecure. That is. They're not confident men because this man feels so bad about himself that he looks at you and be like, oh my gosh, she's beautiful. She would never like- the way I look, instead of being like, she pretty, I'm handsome, let's get into this. Mm -mm. They oh, ain't got right. But even an ugly man with confidence don't have, have a problem stepping to you, especially when his pockets are right too. Yeah, They step to you all the damn time. Short, yeah. ugly. <laughs> One eye with a limp, yeah. Hello, they got confidence. Girl, that yeah. shit just was in a roll of hair. I felt sad the other night because he was like, I know you think that I'm ghetto, Jackie. And I was like, no. In my head, I'm like, hell yeah, you ghetto. Who but said like, this? Snuggle nuts? Snuggle nuts. Because he's, cause he's <laughs> like, he thinks I, I think. No, you don't say it like that. He <laughs> thinks that I think that he's less than in a ghetto way. And I do, but I don't care. And I do. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. 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 Said, I do think he, that, but I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, she was playing <laughs> Snuggle Nuts in case you watching this. Because I know, because I, I, but it's not, ghetto is not bad. It's not, it's ghetto not. is bad when it's bad, but it can, it cannot always be bad. That make any sense? Yeah. 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 He's a, he's a, he's, he's a man from the streets and there's a certain sensibility you have to have. So, and he still acts that way, but he's not extreme. He's not, he's not in the streets anymore. He's in, he's domestic in the house, but I still see, you know, I still see the ghetto things about him. I'm like, well, that's Jackie, what I meant. how yes. are you and yeah, Snuggle good. Nuts not the same breed? You and Snuggle Nuts are the same energy. We do have the same energy, but I'm a lot more refined than he is. In your mind. No, no, no. In the no, world. Jackie out here, though. Because Snuggle, no, Jackie out here, she know where she wanted her career. Jackie, Jackie got a law. Jackie went to law school. 
Snuggle right. must be at the and, house. I, and I met him in college and he didn't get any kind of degree. But and what I'm saying is, house. but Cornelia, what she's complaining about with snuggle nuts don't have nothing to do with passing the bar exam. No, it's no, he's there's a certain if you were doing look at Cornelia, go say it out loud though. Say it out loud. Let, let me think about it. Because I don't think they're the same. <laughs> I just I don't, think, I don't he, think feels it's negative. he feels you know a like need. He feels that he fulfills thing. old school Jackie. I feel like he connects with with like Jackie, yes. like back right. in the day, Jackie. Jackie. Yeah, mm -hmm. Jackie yes. with the uh, with the original last name. Jackie. We had, <laughs> we had a conversation, he with, and, and I knew Jackie he right. was throwing shade. When he was like, "Well, you know, when you live when you lived it twenty years ago, you know, I liked your old name," and that was him starting a shade argument. And okay, know you didn't change the name. Too. I know you love that girl was who you remember, but that that's 18 jackets ago. Okay, well, one of the philosophies I like is if you spot it, you got it. If you spot it, you got it. What's that? You, ever, you ever heard of that? Oh, you, you ever heard of that? I, I believe no, Angel. You, I believe you are who you associate with. I do agree. That's how we he and I connect. We have that sensibility. But I, but mine is a little bit more grown up than his. He's still a 21 year old dude that thinks going to the bodega is going shopping. But why can it not be though? Is what I'm saying. But why can it not be? I don't. I want to get my stuff at a grocery store where I don't have to bag my own shit. I'm bougie. Jackie trying to go to Key Foods. Now at Whole Foods, sometimes go to Key Foods. She don't want to go to the bodega. Yeah, don't ask about Key Foods. Key Foods is high quality. When I tell you the other day, we went to Aldi's out here, and we went to the register. He was on one on one register. I was on the other register, and they handed me the bags, and I was like, "What's this?" And they were like, you bag them. And I'm not going to lie, I haven't bagged groceries in years. And I was, like, <laughs> I was like, no, I don't do this no more. This is why I work so hard. I want to not do anything much with my hands anymore. That's why and I do he, Instacart, but go ahead. And he was, yeah, that too. And then, I, and I order everything online. And, he, yeah. and he's sitting back like, you don't want to, he doesn't understand, I might get on the bus. So we're not the same people anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not the, the same girl anymore. I'm Back in the day, I'm like, let's get on the bus together, boo, me and you. Now I'm like, I will order what I want online. It'll be here in two hours. I'm not getting on the bus to go anywhere. I'm and that's just me that. thinking I've worked really hard to have that right. I've had years on the bus and train. I've worked too goddamn hard to go I back. I tell you me. decades, Lou, on the bus and train. Now I'm like, I'm not. If I take it now, it's because I want to and I'm bored and I want to go for a walk. Not because well, I got to. When I go home, when I go back to New York, I run a car. They like, ooh, you going to rent a car in New York? Yes. yes. You ain't going to be able to park and you going to pay that I'm, park? Guess <laughs> what? I'm going to pay to park, bitch. Courtney, I will pay 40 he, on it. He said, to me, he said to me, why you want to drive in New York? All the tickets and the parking. I'm like, I will do whatever I got to do to take care of the car. Because that's what happens when you have right. a car. You have to take care That's of your it. reality. Parking. That ain't my reality. And he's like, he's like, well, the cost alone. I'm like, nigga, it's just, if, I, if I get a ticket, I'm not even upset about it. I'm like, I will pay a ticket <laughs> and we'll yep. my day where he could have taken it and his day is ruined. His, week, his whole month is ruined one parking ticket. And that's just how we, I've grown up, we've grown up in two different directions and now we're back trying to figure it out. So that's just. Do you just, feel like y'all are equally yoked then? Not even, not even equally eggshell. We're not equally. <laughs> <laughs> We're not equally any. You the brown organic egg. He that regular ass white egg. That <laughs> is small regular ass small yeah. egg. Like damn, I can't you four seventy. You four seventy nine a dozen. He on yeah. sale for eighty nine cent for a dozen. Okay, <laughs> so Jackie, so yes, Jackie, here's my question then: What, what can be different between y'all? What can be the differences? He got to find his direction and then be a man about but, all of that. But Courtney, yeah. let me ask Jackie that because this is what I'm saying. Like, I don't she, think he is. She because she she breaks up natural. with him every other day, even in the comments. No, no. Like, I thought Snuggle Dust was over. So you it's know, like we haven't broken up in a while now. It's been consistently <laughs> pleasant. Okay, so my question to you is: What yeah. what ideologies are you okay with your mate having? that is vastly different from yours. He doesn't have any plans for anything. He's, he's surviving one day at a time. Where all I got is plans. Okay, but you telling me what he, what you feel like he's doing wrong, I'm asking you like, what type of things can your mate have different than yours? Like, can they be a Trump supporter? Can they not believe mm -hmm. in interracial relationships? Can they, because when yeah, you yeah. deal with the 80, 20 and you dealing with mm -hmm. human beings, they're not going to see eye to eye on every single I've, I've ideology. I'm, I'm in it. Right. That's what I'm saying. So 
at least acknowledge that you're okay with it, but I, you, I'm, you're making it I'm sound like you wanted him to change. No, no, no. Here's the thing. If I'm going to be in it, then I've accepted that, Jackie, this is who you've accepted. Just right. Be with. So when I'm with him, I don't bug him. I don't talk down to him. I don't I don't bug him about not being what I think I want him to be. I let him be him. But I also, every now and then, when he wants to talk about marriage, I'm like, we can't talk about none of that shit if we don't discuss why your life is the way it is. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Remember, too, keep in and mind, we are living in a different time. This pandemic time, we in the house, this world that we in, it's, it's not, not necessarily, yeah, it's not a real world. So what I hear is I see Jackie living in the world that she's in. That, I, cool. that we built together. Yeah, he cool. You know, they cook, they know each other, they have good sex. He, you know, they key keyed up, maybe smoke a little something. But then when real world starts again. He ain't gonna fit. He, he's not gonna that's fit. What, and, that's, and that's okay. And that, and we'll yeah, figure and that out when we organic. Do it. Yeah, it's like, going to be organic. You're not going to have to say "boo." You don't fit. It's going to be organic that he he yeah, feels it out be of a dramatic place. breakup. It's going to be like us realizing this was fun, but, and but what if you, you're continuously falling in love with them more and more and more. Like you said, it's been great for so. Just say the world don't open up for ne the next nine That's months, and there's y'all have no arguments. Y'all don't have no problems all the way through. You ain't gonna just be able to be like, oh, he got up, but I don't, you gonna be in love with everybody. Right. Yeah. Sure. And, point, I, yeah. and my, my attitude is when that, when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. Right now, I wanna fuck on the bridge. You eat chicken every day, you'll like chicken. Okay. So, Crystal, Crystal, <laughs> in your, so in, so I'm like, curious, hey, like Crystal, in your horny. reconciliation, what did you learn differently about men this time around? Like what, like what was like some differences that you now respect that you initially thought was like a problem? I really like one of the biggest things I realized men would rather have money problems than sex problems. Mm. Like my deal is, like I said, I had to learn just cause I don't cuss and act, you know, start roaring and blah, 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 when I get mad, it's just the same with me breaking down, but I can get mad or my feelings can get hurt and I can shut down like, you know, I went almost four months without having sex with my husband. He was like, yo, nigga, oh. hey, yeah, I know you mad, but um, I'm over here. Tap, tap, tap. You're here. <laughs> and, you know, so I, I learned that, you know, I think be like, bitch, like what? So I learned that, mm -hmm. you know, shit communicating it and just, yeah. And my way ain't always right. Like just because it's not loud and shutting down, that doesn't mean that it's not, you know, as bad. Look at Angel. She's and, like, and that I'm passionate. Because to yeah. me, yeah, because to me in relationships, it all comes down to the ability of allowing someone to yeah. see it differently and also respect yeah. the differences. A lot of times when somebody sees something different than us, we label them, we say it's this, that, whatever. When in actuality, somebody just made a decision. They just made a choice that's in their right. And people catch this, do not owe you explanation on why they make decisions. They just Even don't. For the nigga who just stood up, um, Lou, I need an explanation. <laughs> Girl, I'm over it, man. I'm just sitting there like, that shit caught me so off guard. I'm like, I don't... I... But it's not you, though. I guarantee you it's not oh, you. I mean... <laughs> I'm but why am I calling back? Is that too much? Would you never do something like, okay, this uh, shit ain't cool. Like, you owe me an explanation. I called him. Calling back. Oh, you did? Girl, like, he said respond. that. I sent him a text. I was like, huh? Care to explain? And I was like, like, what's going on? I was like, this is kind of weird. We were just talking about meeting on Saturday. I was like, where is this coming from? I was like, I don't know if I was joking with you when I said something and you took it wrong. I was like, my apologies. But I was like, I, I like what's going on what's up I was like hello I was like we was just ha ha kiki about you loving me earlier this morning and then now and then I was like okay cool you don't want he's yes, a weirdo you don't want a weirdo like that my anxiety would come in and I'd just be texting like oh nigga you yeah I Crazy. would Google, eat me yeah I'd turn I'd, uh, oh no trust me I said, <laughs> I, said I said enough to the point where I feel okay with it you know because my anxiety was because at first I was just like I ain't yeah. gonna at first, I was like, what the fuck is this? And I was like, I'm not even going to respond. And then I was like, say something. So yeah. I, I called, I, I, te I text him. I was like, huh? Care to explain? And then I called him. And then he didn't respond. Then nigga always pick up my phone calls. Ever. I was like, I know when he ignores me because he just shuts down. So I was like, I called him. I text him. He, that was. Why was he? But he shouldn't be ignoring you at all, ever. 
That's how you know like there that. was something wrong. It's something. It's, and he's a punk. Not, it don't matter what the fuck he is. He's a your punk. Wow. <laughs> He can't have guy, a conversation. Guy like you, he's not allowed that. to ever ignore you. That's never yeah. okay. But that's oh. how he deals with conflict. Yeah, that's, so that's who he is as a saying. man. And that's how right. he's going to deal with conflict. So if you would have still been talking to him a little, little later down the line and something big would have came up, he would have dealt with it like that. When y'all or have small, kids, somebody, time. the kids do something. Like he's going to try to avoid change. the kids. People can change. Right, Jack. You and they would, but you know, have, he has to recognize the change. He has to recognize the problem. Yeah. Because I told him, I was like, the way you communicate, I don't appreciate that. I was like, he, and yeah. he said a big thing, communication is everything. I'm like, yeah, it is everything, but you got to communicate. Mm-hmm. If you if you choose to not tell me anything, then you're going to leave me to assume. And I'm now I'm running off of speculations versus you just being clear and giving me the truth. But I I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what I said. I don't know what was, what was heard, what was said. I don't know. Yes. I, the girl, I, I, was, I was stepping upstairs about to pick out my outfit and then I sat down and I looked at my phone and the phone said something different. So, well, you that was God. All that's God. You saved the outfit, girl. Save it mm-hmm. for the next one. <laughs> yeah. you know, whenever, whenever I get rid of all of my body hair, that's when things go awry. <laughs> I've always had down, things girl. fall apart. Whenever I'm, I man, never shaved too. I, I almost shaved. I almost whacked because I, I got the near. Listen to y'all. I was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna get the that near." That was me. And I almost did it last night. And I was like, "Nah, let's wait. Let's get closer to to the day we supposed to meet them." And then I was like, "And then I'll do it." Whenever Who did they I, up, whenever though, I FYI. decided I wanted to be a smooth baby seal, that's when shit go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Every time hey, hair I'm removal gonna means he gonna fall. Y'all gonna break up tonight. I but for me, Jackie, growing the hair back is the reset button for me. It is. Yeah, I don't, I don't cut it until a reason. So True, yeah, it could if be I, years for a week. I let everything yeah, fall apart. That's it just falls apart until yeah, there's hair motivation. Hair. Yeah, because I don't mind it being there. I really don't. You little one. And Lou, do it the day of, not any days before. So be- yeah, I learned my lesson years ago. That's why I was like, I'm gonna wait. I was like, I'm gonna wait, girl. I'm glad I waited because I don't really want to do it anyway. Sorry. So, Crystal, are you going to do any like vow renewal or any type oh, yeah. of thing? Can I be a bridesmaid? We're on Zoom? <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going to do nothing big, but we're thinking about like redoing stuff because as soon as um, I can't move back, I moved back to LA off of selling my ring. <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh you, you was done, done. done. Yeah, yeah, I was, I came back here. I'll never forget. I moved back to LA on my, my anniversary. Me and my homegirl, I was crying and unpacking all my stuff. And I stopped crying because I unpacked a whole box of groceries. And I was like, bitch, you're going to be all right. You're going to get through it. But that's that's what got us where we're at. Because I had to leave. So, I'm talking about leave. Like I said, I had my part. But yeah, I had to, I had to get up and go. So through. y'all are thinking about getting a new ring together? Or are you trying to, like, what's you going to do? We're both getting new rings, yeah. Oh, We're nice. trying to keep everything, like, we... I even had to throw away my journal because when we would go to therapy, I'd be like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> and so, and I keep up with everything. Like I keep up, like be like, um, on February 8th, 2013. And we just, he was like, can you please throw that away so you can stop going back to it and reading it and yeah. looking at it and reliving it. So we're trying to do everything fresh. And then oh, like right I said, he's moving out here. So. I know. Oh, I was right. here. Oh, good. Yeah. He's, what about the kids? I ain't having to move away. Well, you know, all our babies is grown. They grown, grown. Oh, and then grown? my, my okay. dad, yeah, he's uh, getting stationed out in San Diego. So that's even better. So mm-hmm. oh, yeah, yeah Pendleton. Prayer, ladies, prayer. Keep me lifted because I'm scared Lucy, as shit. Lucy, here at Pendleton. Chris, are you at Pendleton? Uh-uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, tell me his name. When I hear I can look him up for I can figure out, find, find him, see what's going on. Oh, all right, you're right, you're right. No, let it go. I, even care. I knew it was over, Crystal, with my husband when I pawned the, the wedding band. I'm like, it's really done now. <laughs> Jackie, nothing is ever over. Nothing is ever over. Oh, when God. love yeah. is involved, nothing. Love oh, comes God. Yeah. But, Crystal, he was mad when you sold the ring, right? Yeah, furious. Yeah, They don't like that. They don't like that at all. Because yeah. he can say anything because I needed to get back. And you know what? The thing about it was when I decided to move back, he was not. 
they ain't trying to help you or Victor, you know, mm-hmm. you need some help or how you gonna do it or what you, I had to do it alone. And I moved to Houston when I got mm-hmm. married. So that meant I had to move back. So, yeah. Do you want, do y'all, of course y'all want to get married? Angel, you want to get married one day? I'm open. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd I get scared of you just now? With the way you just responded. <laughs> <laughs> I because, open. You know, you know um, I would like mm-hmm. to have a long-term committed relationship, but when you start mixing things legally, um, I'm not as I'm not as like gung ho about doing all the legalities. Yeah. I'm gung ho about my heart and your heart is one and all that great I'll stuff. I'll be shacked up and everything, but I'm like, but ah. I, you know, in California laws, you know, I just I just feel like you see so many divorces and people just getting so I, like. I don't, wanna, I don't even want to live with a man. I rather, I like the whole visit and go home. Hang out. And the people thought, the but people you thought I was ready. weird about that, Jackie. Like I would love for us to have multiple homes, and you know, we just kind of hop around. It's weird, like I know, but it's like freedom, I, but you want I don't see. I don't see the. Um, I guess because I see the realism of marriages versus being in love. You know, they're two different things. And to see people have to completely start their lives over financially, completely, you know, I just feel like it's a a gamble that I don't know that I'm really, unless, you know, I'm with somebody who got a really good open mind about prenup, you know, that we can all leave the way we came. And, you know, if it didn't work out, then no one's penalized financially. Like, that's why I said I'm open to it, but I'm also open to just having a committed relationship. I know so many comedians that I watched the whole thing go down. On yeah. And it's all of them divorced. Now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Or going through it. Yeah. That's the, that's the, uh, that's a, can be a trap. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You put your relationship out there. Now it works for some people. Don't get, don't get oh, yeah, it. Right. That, that is beneficial. Yeah. But some people literally can't handle that as individuals. So if you can't handle that social media and the weight that come with it, don't just keep it, yeah. keep it quiet. Yeah. That's why, one, it, that's why I keep it funny. I don't really get too yeah. deep. I'm like, I don't think I even want yeah. to get all of that. One guy, when mm-hmm. I was, you know, um, talking to him, getting to know him from the apps or whatever, he just said to me, he said, it sounds like you don't want to be married, that you just want a partner. You're like, and? And I said, so what's the problem? (laughs) I was like, you know, I'm not like, you know, and even if I were to get married, it's not going to be no $30,000, $60,000 wedding and all that kind of nonsense. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said I'm open to it, especially if he comes in like really religious. This really means something to him. It has to be more than just we doing it for the gram. You know what I mean? Because I'm not one of those people who need the look of things. I like it to be real, authentic, and for us to really define what this means for us. But for sure, I don't want to be in the court systems fighting over property and like Tina Turner fighting over my stage name. <laughs> and he said he wrote the jokes on my last special and I got to give him royal. I don't want none of that. Mm-mm. Do you want to get married, Courtney? Most definitely. You really for sure, you know you want to get married. Trying to talk yeah. about it. Okay. I've sure? never done it, so yeah. What'd you say, Crystal? She's trying to talk about it. You're talking about, you sure? Yeah, <laughs> you sure you really want to get Yeah, I've never done it. So hey, I say from uh, now, I wish I would have done more. it before and, and be divorced. I don't have a problem. Like if it don't work out, like if I would have had a divorce, I would have had my babies out the way. I would have had a house and then, you know, some other shit. At least I did it. So, yeah, I'm actually, I before it. I decided I didn't want to get married, I was down to be married three, four, or five times because I really life is too short. I don't see the big deal because when I got divorced the first time, I did my divorce myself. That's how much I was like, it's over. And I did it to- yourself. Wow. To your lawyer. <laughs> I did the whole thing myself. I brought the papers home and I was like, in the, in the, in the envelope, like, you are you go, sign right here, sign right here. He was I like, you need a show if that's not an episode. I just, I, I love men and love love. But I don't like the tie down part of it. I just get freaked yeah. out by that kind of stuff. Yeah. Amelia, do you want to get married one day? I do want to get married. I think though I have lately because of course we all get, we all getting up in age. I am starting to have the conversation <laughs> with myself. That I like says, how you said that. No, we are. We getting up there. I have, I'm starting to have the conversation with myself uh, and to make sure that I'm content if that does not happen. Because right. I don't want to be that lady that's regretting the shoulda, coulda, woulda's 
So I am starting to make peace with whatever may happen. I do want to get married. I do want to have kids and I'm going to freeze my eggs because even if I don't get married, I'm having a baby. I keep hearing yeah. that a lot now. I yeah. said, that's I what I said. I, I told I'm you that. I had done that. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm yeah. this year. That's my, my mission this year is to freeze my, my eggs. My girlfriend's frozen yeah. eggs and I'm, my, it's a group of seven of us and like three of them did it. I'm like, bitches, why y'all ain't tell me y'all was freezing I eggs? I wish I had known. I would have done that a lot because my eggs were fantastic back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, and that's what because just because you don't get married and don't have a relationship, don't mean you can't do other things. I don't right. necessarily believe that, but I am starting to have the conversation with myself to say, Canelia, if you don't get married and things don't work out the way you thought, are you going to be okay with that? And if you ain't, you need to get okay with it because that might yeah. be a reality, girl. Yeah, I definitely. You want yeah, me to call? I, you want? I got a new therapist. I just, I'm, I'm in line for my new therapist. I'm waiting. So thank you. Yeah, I, I really want women to stop thinking that being married is like a pinnacle of all. their life, it's and it's a status of meaning that you're validated. It has nothing to do with your self worth. Absolutely nothing. It I is just children. They, you know, I, this lady, I just, I don't even think she realized what she was saying. She goes, "Oh my God, you don't have any children." Oh. And I'm like, <laughs> she no. might feel bad for not having yeah, kids. Bitch. Like, I just, I'm like, you don't want to know about these accolades I got down. Like, <laughs> she just made me feel horrible for not having kids. I got done plenty. You don't want to see yeah. the list? No. Jackie and, asked me that question. What? Do I want to have kids? Do you want to have kids? Not even the slightest. <laughs> not even like okay. half pregnant. That's a good idea. I, 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 I think that's why. a good idea. Let me tell you why. <laughs> Growing up the youngest, I'm 11 years apart from my youngest brother. So that means like when I was in fifth grade, they were married with children. Goodness. And so I felt like with my nieces and nephews that I was like a teen mom because I was responsible for babysitting and staying over at the hospital when my nieces and nephews were sick. And so I saw the full circle of child bearing and child care and it is a huge responsibility so once they got older i literally internally felt like i was done you get what i'm saying like i had that feeling of being done and i couldn't imagine having a newborn in here that was the best birth control in the world for you. <laughs> right oh, no, it is. i was I like Mm -mm. And then people forget, like nowadays, there's so many things medically going on with the food and GMOs. And people are having a lot of kids with needs when they when they're born, not just saying like, you know, disabilities as in like mental disabilities. I'm just talking about their pregnancies are difficult. Their um, gestation years are difficult. It's a lot of like serious commitment emotionally and mentally to, to raising kids now. And when I, when I would have, I've had a few pregnancy scares in my forties and it's not even, you can't even get excited because you're so worried about like, I'm 43. What the heck? You, you're so worried about everything turning out. Okay. What are you yeah. laughing about? Why are you laughing? I'm in my own world, man. I'm just like, you okay. You having a breakdown? You all right? Nah, it's just Angel's always like a good ray of sunshine when you need some positivity. It just be like, she know what she wants. That's the thing. At this age, we all should know what we want, or at least know how can, to. Can we know happy things? We all don't know no happy things. All this is happy. This ain't, this ain't What's happy. amazing is Lou and I, this is just the dynamics of our relationship, Jackie. Yeah. I don't know why she set her boundary. I was across my line and you know, I'm cool. It's like, she don't have to agree with what I'm no, saying. No, agreeing is not a part of it. It's not a prerequisite. Lou, you want to get married one day, I know, right? Of course, yeah. I, I would love to get married. I, my parents are still married. I think it's a beautiful thing and I've always admired that. I've always adored that. So yeah, I would love to do that. There is something beautiful about the the title wife, and I've I've done it, and you, it does feel it feels good more than it does feel bad. But it's just a matter of the older you get, the more you see life around you, the more you're like, do I need to do this? Yeah, right. no, I agree with she everything. She was talking more about the too. union and not the title, though. Yeah. 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 No, but, but no, this is my question, and Jackie, saying, and Jackie and Crystal, for the married people, married women or who have been married, do y'all think married women look down on single women? Or do y'all think married women think they oh, I say that. that. I say that. Probably, yeah, when I was young, probably when I was younger, I'd be like, well, you know, you'd probably be happier if you had. But that that ended that's yeah. probably 20 years ago, I thought that way. Like, I want to live through you guys. No. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> yeah. older, the older I get, yeah. I actually, I realize the older I get, the older I've gotten, I've never been an unhappy single girl. I've always been a happy single girl. 
So when I meet a single girl who's happy, I'm like, good yeah. for you. Because you know a man is gravy. He's not the meal. Okay. I had fun being single. Like, fun, fun. Like, yeah, too me much too. Problem, I boy. enjoy it. Even, yeah. when, I'm yeah. even when I was lonely, I'm still like, but I'm still out there having a good time, though. But see, that's or I like about. myself. I enjoy my own company. I like my face. I like my personality. If you, when you mm -hmm. like yourself, you can be mm -hmm. single. Exactly. And that's what's bad with me because we've been apart so long. Like, you know, it was fun. It's fun, but I'd be wanting to see. I love the fact that we travel, like both of us travel, because that way then I can still have my me time because I'm getting back used to the, the us being right up under each other all day. Because like when we ain't working, we in the house. Yeah. In the house. Together. Especially now. Yeah. Because I've always had the attitude for most of my adult life. Like, I'm like, any man that get me, he lucky as hell. Because, you know, mm -hmm. I do I do girlfriend well. Very when I can, true. I do it well. So I'm like, yeah. if you get me, you hit the jackpot. I like, give, me some, I, give me some examples, Jackie, of you doing it well. What's a good hey. girlfriend? What do you mean? Yeah. Your like trick. You say you do it well. Yeah, what do you do? Not your trip, but like, just what? what's your idea what's of a good girlfriend? girlfriend? Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, being a girlfriend? Yeah. That's a good yeah. one. Like how, how what's a good girlfriend? What do you do? I yeah. check I from good girlfriend for me is I check in. I I like to, I I enjoy filling a man's stomach. I love cooking. I love making sure he eats. Yeah. Sexually all day, every day. Every morning at least before we go to bed. I'm always tuned yeah. in for that. Yeah, my sex drive is not normal. It's it's but it's who I am. And it used to be, I used to think that it was like, you know, you'll seem promiscuous. Now I'm like, no, I'm almost 50. I like physical interaction mm -hmm. um, I listen more than I talk mm -hmm. I'm not a big talker oh, yeah. <laughs> I know how to I know how to give advice based on what I think is best for the situation as opposed to being right I don't have to be right all the time my ego is not a part of my relationship mm -hmm. my ego is on stage but when but, but when I get off stage my ego is in the closet I bring it out when I need to I don't, mm -hmm. I don't emasculate men. I don't talk down to men. I treat mm -hmm. men like, I know you're a man and I love being, I am woman, hear me roar. But mm -hmm. I also like to be like, you just, you know, you go ahead and fix shit and be strong and I'll, I'll be hearing you done. I can be very mm -hmm. submissive and I like it. People it think is. you're doing it because you've yeah. got the choice. Submission for me is easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You spend so much time being like, everybody look at me. So when it's time to be with a man, I'm like, let's just be here quiet in the dark and mm. yeah you make the yeah. plan let me do the simple stuff yeah let yeah. me be yeah. a girl now. you know yeah. you want a blow job well, of course <laughs> and you, you gotta ask me for one i'm giving him more than i actually he deserves i just like the i just love the coupling part because i know how to i know how to serve for lack of a better term you can't be a leader if you can't serve and i think right. it's hard to be part yep. of a duo right if you can't serve you gotta learn how to be number one you at gotta be number two, two. And it's not weakness. Yeah. I don't look at surfing as weak. I'm like, mm -hmm. I think I'm really strong because I can bounce back and forth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's why I'm an excellent girlfriend. Okay. Good way to put that, Jackie. That yeah. I love nice. Scrabble nights and wine. Those are my favorite. Scrabble I can do, but I love any any other game. Why I'll watch. I'm also very good at, at, at lying. Whatever bullshit <laughs> you want to watch, I'll watch everything. I pretend, really? I pretend I like all kind of crap. But I usually I'll end up watching it and I'll end up liking it. Like I'm I'm open to being like I don't want to see no old ass karate movie. Then I will watch it and be like that was good. Yeah. So <laughs> I lie, but my lie always turns out to be like you know what? I yeah. Try that out. It was fun. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Cornelia, what makes you a good girlfriend? I am very helpful. Um, it's sometimes to a fault because even after I'm checked out of a relationship, one of my struggles is I then kick into help mode. Like, well, maybe mm -hmm. I can help him be a better person. However, working with my new therapist, Yay. I realize <laughs> it's because I I'm longing. I'm helping people now because I wish somebody would have helped me when I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to do what was not done for me. Mm -hmm. To the point where I'm just gonna have to get a mentee because I can't be helping these niggas. Okay, <laughs> I can't help them too. <laughs> Join the boys and girls club. Yeah. Listen, they girl, they don't, they don't want no more women. They, they, the website is like we have too many women. What, girl, what about men. the Girl Scouts? Because the men are creepy, so Girl Scouts is full. I look into the other options, but I need to get a mentee. So I'm helpful. Um, kind of like Jackie, I, I, I'm good at serving and I'm good at. 
you know, playing the 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 woman and the the girlfriend in that that position. I'm I'm very good at that. Um, I will say my weaknesses though. Um, I've, I'm only recently started to pick. I'm only I'm I'm adult dating now. So my my historical weakness is I will pick men who I knew I wasn't going to be with, but I would try to win them over or try to win that relationship to a default. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I I check out easy. I detach. Mm -hmm. I can detach very quickly. So if something don't go my way or I don't like it. I mean, I shut down. I'd be like, oh, this ain't gonna work. Oh, this mm -hmm. ain't gonna work. I won't say that. I'll still stick it out. But in my mind, I'd be like, this ain't gonna work without giving people the benefit of the doubt. So I'm doing better at that. Did you and your therapist talk about your attachment styles? Not yet, but we okay. have how, why I'm detached and yeah. why it's easy for me to do. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice well you know your work, sorority yeah. your sorority does have programs for you to get involved with with mentoring that's true <laughs> that is true Sarah. I, need, I need a mentor now <laughs> I need. I, like what I, I, like I ain't paid my dues and I don't know how you long don't have to pay your dues to be of service what's going on <laughs> you know, they be wanting you to sit the table and wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday I ain't I ain't got it hey, yo, can you get me a referral so I can get like a like maybe like a celebrity like honorary delta type thing we was telling Jackie to do that too yeah, yeah, you do that. I'm gonna I'm hold down for the AKAs then you go ahead and do that then. yeah do that do that do that well, I like that you've asked the question, though, of more than just me, Angel. Courtney, Courtney, what makes you a good girlfriend? Well, I am a cancer. I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm a nurturer by nature. So, yeah, I'm very, like, I feed you. I'm very, like, I do too much, really. Um, I'm nice. I'm super nice. And then I'm too nice at times. But whenever I'm out, I'm, like, thinking about you. Oh, he needs some new, like, I'm just picking up some underwear, some socks. Oh, this is whatever, you know. I do that all the time. I, lo I love seeing him put on brand new underwear that I bought. I'm, I love that <laughs> shit. So I'm always thinking about them when I'm in a relationship. And that can sometimes be a negative, though, when it gets too, too much or I'm mm -hmm. doing too much. You know what I mean? But but on the good side, yes, yeah, so I'm very, like, um, aware. Mm -hmm. uh, I listen. I'm uh, attentive to be like open to you know what's going on in your world right now what's going on in your life um it sounds like you just really know your your love languages how you give love and how you receive love because you know the five love languages it sounds like you do acts of service i hmm. just realized that my I, yes I, I just acknowledge that his love language is the food and the cooking yeah yeah for sure yeah, i was trying to figure yes. out like what what is it about him that well, I need him to show it and he doesn't really that's how he shows it the acts of service. that's his love language yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I and that's that important out, like, that's so important like when you're getting to know someone like that is like the first couple of questions I ask like you know what are your love languages so that they I don't, don't be miss... knowing though a lot of sometimes they do Jackie you'll be surprised and then they, guess they what never been asked yeah, and if they don't know, they can Google it right there on their phone. The five yeah, love languages. Yeah, a lot of them don't get asked. I never asked them. I just noticed yeah. it. I'm like, I'm like, this seems yeah. to be consistently what he. And that's yeah. how he shows it. Because a lot of times, how we give love is not how how we receive love. Oh, mm. yeah. and so we got to be careful with that too. I realize with Courtney listing, I'm like the 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 negative. My weakness is that I can be a diva. <laughs> Jackie, fabulous, a diva. I can, I, can go to, I can go to dinner with a guy at a restaurant and if he don't valet, I, I have it in my head. I put it in the file like, oh, he didn't valet. This nigga, I'm not, you think I'm a walk? So I could be, I could be a diva. But I, I, but, and I'm the baby, so I've been, go ahead. No, no and, and, been, and I can, and I, I do have a tendency to hide the, the, to hide who I really am until I feel secure with the dude. Mm, so I, I definitely won't let do that. a guy see the real me for a while. Cause I'm like, right. it's gonna. Be, I'm worried he'll think it's a lot. Instead of mm -hmm. being like, if it's a lot, he can't take it. Let him go. Mm -hmm. yeah, you gotta let him see it. You I'm gotta throw him into the fire too. early. He gotta mm -hmm. see it all so he'll know. Cause otherwise, yeah, it's gonna surprise fire. him later. He's gonna yeah, be like, this who was, is this? But it could be a lot. That's why I'd be afraid. You, you gonna be? It, it's either be a lot now or be a lot later. Either I way, know, he's I gonna know. see it. Um, Lou, well, why are you a good girlfriend? To Lou? be honest, I don't. Um, <laughs> I'll be 100% real. I don't know. I don't know. I, I thought I knew, 
but I haven't really been successful with the things that I know. So I'm just going to take some time to maybe figure out to reevaluate what really makes me a good girlfriend. So I'm going to say I don't really know at this point. You can ask some guys that you dated, Lou. I mean, that you're, guys that you're friends with, that you trust. And yeah. Lou, Lou, as a friend, you are very loyal, right? That's true. You have a very kind heart. Um, you know, you fun. like to have fun and you, you know, you, it, it seems like you always want to have a, like a fun environment. So it's, you, you like, you like the type of person that wants your home to be like a, like a good place, a good landing yeah. place. Yeah. You fight for so, your friends. Yeah, you do. Fight for so, you care about. So you see, I'm sure you bring those to. into your relationship. And you don't you like any to. kind of black cloud of negativity anywhere around you. And if you love someone, you like our, our energy got to match our, our goals. Yeah. You're very, you're very high frequency when you know you care about somebody. Mm-hmm. And that's so funny you said that because I said that to the, because I shot a commercial the other day, right? Hey. Yeah, congrats. Mm-hmm. Budweiser, like, right? Yes, it's Budweiser. And ironically, he had a bad day that day. And he had said something and he was like, but you had a great day. I was like, I know, but if I had a great day and you didn't have a great day, it doesn't really even out. Like, so like, what's good? Like, talk to me. Like, I, I don't feel good if somebody I care about is having a bad day, even though I'm like, yay, because it doesn't make me feel better. And I'm like, oh, I'm having a great day. And you're like going through some real shit. So yeah. I was I don't like negativity like that. So, but yeah, I, like I said, those are, thank you so much, Kanye and Jackie. Like those, that really means a lot to me because that, those are like key values in my life. But like I said, I don't know. I've been trying to do these things. And I think those are like key points in how I date as well. I know my love languages. My love languages is, uh, is quality time and acts of service. So I know a lot of people don't show it that well, but in, in the same way I need. So I always be like, maybe you loving me a little bit differently, but. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm like I said. Let me. I'm gonna go reevaluate me. You know. Yeah. That's, that's always. That's always gonna work in your favor when you take a break, even yeah. if it's only a half an hour. You meet a guy at midnight tonight. Any kind of <laughs> self-proclaimed break is always good. Whenever I've taken a break, I've always learned shit. I'm like, no wonder you can't keep him. In. Whenever I take a break, I learn about myself. Yeah. I'll, what do you have to do with a guy? I'm like, I'll take a break and be like, I I gained ten pounds. Maybe that's why I'm bitchy or sleepy or I, you know yeah. so it'll, it'll be about me the break i'll learn more about me during a break yeah. than about any dude and yeah. making yourself happy like when crystal no you know when you said angel you're glowing because you're talking about your new hobby like i was really happy that you noticed that because that's the goal is that i need you to see that i can give myself the same glow as if I, you know, as if I was in a relationship, same glow, because I love me and I don't want to ever have somebody try to match the responsibility of making me happy, fulfilled and whole. Yeah. And I don't do it myself. And so that's why now when I'm meeting guys, you know, I have things to talk about. I'm already on the date glowing and they're going to sit there and listen to my container store stories because that's what makes me happy right now. (laughs) And if you want to get in, if you want to get in, go get me a gift certificate to the container store so you can go get these yams. (laughs) yams. That what makes me sad sometimes when I when I'm too happy about my job with a guy who doesn't really. Like I'll go out with a guy or, yeah. or talk to this guy, and they'll be like, "So how was the show? It was fantastic." And, and no, there's can't be, be too lying. much joy. And I and I'm like, yeah. I'm wondering, like, I'd be wondering if they think, "How can a job make any human being this happy?" And I'm like, it's, it's not a job; it's a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. But then again, that's my world. I don't want to impose that on somebody who's not exactly. in exactly. Impositions are the key. Don't yeah. make other people responsible for your value system. Yeah. Okay. Wait. That's now, why. Crystal. What's, what makes you a good now wife? Because you, ah. you passed, you passed you the back. girlfriend. You back. You back in the game. <laughs> well, I had to do some self-reflecting and it was even worse when you ladies were speaking, but I was a horrible wife the first go around. Um, my husband owned a daycare. And when I got married, I ain't gonna even lie. I was like, whoo, bitch done made it now. Let me go rest. I wasn't helping with the business. I wasn't getting up cooking him breakfast before he left. I would be like kissing. I wasn't even getting up, putting my robe on, walking this nigga downstairs. I was like, all right then. So like now I'm I'm learning that, you know, even though I don't like to cook, he likes it when I cook. And as long as if he going, it can be burnt to the crisp, but he mm-hmm. going to eat. So, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning to not just be, you know, on the receiving end because it's like, damn bitch, like, you can't do, you can't help do nothing. So 
I'm just now getting to that point where I'm cooking for him. I made some burnt up chocolate chip cookies the other night and you would have thought that it was a Monopoly million dollar ticket in one of them because he ate them. And I know they was burnt. I, they was burnt. I was looking at them just because I made them. So, you know, and, and I'm learning that it's give and take. And I wasn't, that wasn't what I was about when I, we first got married. So I'm, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying because it, it can't, it take two. We always yes. want to say that you know, they, 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 but you know, I had my part in it and I'm just trying to always just, you know, first off, anxiety is real. Like I said, we'll just yep. get in our hand and talk something up and you can wrote out what he was movie. saying, how he felt. Yes. Girl. And I just, instead of, Instead of assuming, just asking like, you know, hey, did you mean to say that? Or did you, you know, and ask. And nine times out of 10, he'd be like, I went, what? What was you talking about? Oh, I was looking at the game. Mm -hmm. And you'd be over there in your feelings and fighting yourself for no reason. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to be better. Yeah. I, I, I recently, like, I was, uh, I when I go over his house, I put on, I wear his t-shirt or my, I have men's boxes that I bought myself. Not really trying. And the other day I, I bought uh, my first lingerie piece off oh, Amazon yeah. in my life. I'm 76. My first piece That's ever. Crazy. And I, I wore it to his house. And when I tell you that joy in his face, just because yeah. I tried. Yep. And all these, yep. you know, I'm like, if you want it, you come hit it. Well, no matter what I got. And I got to let go of that mentality. Like, well, you can try. That's because right. you showered and you put on gloss. That's your everyday life. Try yeah. extra, extra. An extra so, you know, And I used to have the mentality. I'm like, why I got to try? These men ain't worth nothing. But you got to... <laughs> And you know that's my I'm a bad girlfriend because of that. Cause at the house I'll be wearing whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm at the house. When it's time to go out, I'll be like, <laughs> what? I'm yeah. I'll be looking like a who done it. Okay. My best sleepwear is onesies or my flannel pajamas and a long sleeve shirt. It don't be no skin exposed nowhere. And he'd be like, man, can I just can I feel some thigh or I elbow? Got an elbow? I mean, I'm something from toe to toe. So yeah, and I'm, now, bitch, I mean, see, I'm, I'm the opposite. I be in, the, I purposely be buying all these sexy ass loungewear, and don't be no niggas here. And I'm like, I'm just <laughs> practicing. I'm just practicing. At least I'm you're just... wearing them. I still in the drawer. I buy them, but them shit stay in the Girl, drawer. It be me and these. It be me in this house cold, with these panties cold. on. I be like, fuck it, bitch. We. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I be looking like I'm about to cut the grass. Yes. <laughs> Every day. Like, Lumber jacking it. I'm telling you, warm. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm Courtney, I need it. you to make a commitment tonight that you're gonna put on one of them outfits in that doggone drawer. I put be it cold on. though, so I need long. Turn the heat on. No, no, no. Turn the heat on. Right. And you so cold. And all and, and I had to get so out of the mentality. Right. I had to get out of the I had to get out of the uh insecurity of you know the, the lingerie is not there's it's no support. Titties are just to the floor. Flailing. And you gotta find the right one, girl. And I'm like, well, it don't fit right, and I don't like spaghetti straps. And he and I know he's like, I don't notice or care about any of that shit. The fact that your titties are on the ground means you care because you're wearing something that has no support. <laughs> so I'm, I had, I was too much in my head, like I gotta wear a bra. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna tell you what to do. Look, they got this fishnet onesie bodysuit, right? And then it ties up, so you you just it put your nipples in the fishnet, up. and then you just yank it up, and then you tie it up. <laughs> Just yank it up. <laughs> Meanwhile, be cold as hell. See, it okay. be cold. Yeah, it's it's, it's only for a little bit. It's only for a little bit. He gonna warm it up and he gonna rip it off. It's no, it don't like, it'll stay on long at all. But the but the five minutes he be on, hit the look on his face like you put on like you put on a wedding dress and he coming down the aisle. That kind of happy in his face. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so bad. I sleep with a heat warmer. He was like, can you? He was like, you sleep with your heat warmer on so I won't come on your side. Like, I'm horrible. Because I'm so cold natured. You have to be uh, a little more comfortable just to make them smile the for five minutes. Just a little bit. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. Even my auntie was like, look. <laughs> <laughs> she said, you ain't young no more. <laughs> she was like, you better get down and make some magic happen. So I was like, let me get some aspirin cream and rub on these knees or something. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. Just Horrible. get some cute, just get some cute waist trainers and then mm -hmm. put some sexy shit around it so you can suck it in for a little bit and then he gonna take it off. That's it. Yeah, it all comes off. Yeah. yeah. Just just do that. But y'all walk and around the this. house during the day. I know Lulu, you do because I see your stuff, but like during the day, like you walk around and like cute stuff like i do i do i have in the last couple of months because i because he enjoys all that crap and that and it we yeah. have sex several times a day 
and that that helps. I keep y'all. The song so. says t-shirt and some panties on. Why are y'all making this so difficult? Just oh, some panties. It be cold. It Crystal, be cold. It do be cold. cold. Like, with your thermostat. Let's talk Crystal, about that. Cold. I have a little you iron. The heater on. I have a little <laughs> iron. That's oh my God. Cold. Camellia. Cadelia and Crystal, y'all need to come out with some anemic lingerie. <laughs> got heat. Now, Crystal, let me tell you what my new my new pandemic um uniform iron. is. One is that I've just been buying a lot of lounge sets that are cute. But mm. the other one is, honey, I went to Ross and bought all the little leggings that got all the different colors. They're cute and, and you're warm. And then I just put a t-shirt or whatever matches on See, it, but they have all different styles and, and colors on it. Their thing is they don't want they don't want a bra and they want some crotch shot. But your body is showing in it. Like body I, yeah. I'm bougie. I'm bougie because I go straight to Kim Kardashian Skims and all her underwears and leggings are shaped for, for females. And as soon as you put them leggings on, they make your waist go this way, and then your ass this like way. pow. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try. Yeah, I got. I'm gonna try. I was like, skin. why waistband so tight? I was like, oh, okay, okay. Just, just so you know, oh. whenever you get up to walk across the room, go to the bathroom, no matter what they're doing, they're gonna catch a look. Yeah, yeah you gotta give them a look. Long as tap you on the ass. If if he, if they ain't tapping me on my ass, I'm like, did you see? I just and you ain't gonna keep in the house. You yeah. know, I'm cold for you. I'm just shivering. You better tap a cheek. Yeah, now when you got them grass cutting outfits on, listen, they you know what else they like. Come put on a body crying. suit. Listen, put on a body suit with some socks, and that's it. Y'all see that? Or, or stay, or stay. But it's cold. Come on, uh-huh. make it works also. You that is funny, Crystal. What you do? What you do? Crystal, that you Zoom. Look at her. Yeah. That's Zoom lingerie. That's Zoom lingerie right there. Show them again. They missed it. I would wear this to bed all day. Oh Crystal, you too fine for that shit, girl. Stop it. Stop it. I mean, that's listen, cute. Girl, listen, look at her. Listen, <laughs> this is the youngest we gonna be for the rest of the our second life. time you t- you said this. Because guess week. what? That last week was the youngest time. And now this is the <laughs> second now. youngest time. Lou told me Lou told me to record every time we do it because it's the youngest time we'll be. Because that- yeah, you know what? In two years from now, your titties ain't going to look like that. So record that That's shit. True. Look at it. Fantasy. I'm like, look, That's I was fine. Like, go to bed in some poop poop shorts. What you got the man pants on? It'd be every cold. Now, no, every now and then. He's supposed to rub you up. That's you can like, I just want to feel now and then, but not every night. Okay, well, let me ask you this. What kind of bedding y'all got? Why are you so cold? <laughs> Low no iron. iron. You got confidence? Low iron. First of all, you need to have... First of all, everything's good. I'm just... You know, anemic ladies need to have jersey sheets. That's number one. Because you probably got regular sheets. Or so that's what They have that too? Yeah, you need There's flannel and you need that there. fleece underlining of the comforter because you getting cold on cold and you just want to stay still so you can warm up because nothing around you is circulating the body heat and i was being selfish because i wasn't trying and i i, I put in a request oh, jokingly to him i was like can you please for the majority of the day just walk around with no clothes on and he did yes he's been doing it ever since no, no, no. Every day. Oh. I mean, when, when when we're in that Saturday Sunday kind of mood, yeah, okay. and, I, and I was joking. I was I do I was not thinking he would do it, and now he's just he walking around. I'm just like free balling, just everywhere. Everything, <laughs> everywhere. Like, I'm so, so glad you asked me. I've been wanting to do this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can y'all walk around naked like that all day? We we do. Yes. Yeah. Good. Yes. It'd be Crystal looks so confused. So, <laughs> panties on. I mean, I have done it. No, I have in the summertime. In the yeah, summertime, I have. It's just, fun. It's oh, just casual, like on. not in a hurry to the bathroom. No, just, no, like, walk oh, around. Okay, oh, come on, get out the shower. Like water, I might not put naked. clothes on right now. Right, away. and or air like dry, and yeah, you just air that. dry. The, you just only air dry time, the only time I put clothes on is to cook. Cause, 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 cause the grease will pop up and burn on my titty, and I was like, hey man, put a robe on. So. Yeah, Crystal, you don't you don't believe in nudity? I don't believe in you it. Don't but believe it's, in it's it. Risk. It's quick. It's if I'm if I'm running from the nah, bathroom. Because <laughs> you cold. You know, you, if I'm, you that's huh? the thing. You need to strut around your house naked and get comfortable with you again, and then let him see how gorgeous you are. Take off them goddamn flannel pants. <laughs> <laughs> I bet and you I can go in my drawer and find find at least ten pair of flannels right now. Let me see, out, let me see how sexy you feel. That changes the dynamic. The, 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 
I can't feel sexy in flannel. Do you? Uh, uh, Crystal, Crystal, the energy that you put into those flannels that are already <laughs> in your, um, your drawer, that's called separation attire. Okay, no, it's the, they already energize that when you look at them, you can't even stand him. Those are the I can't stand you outfits. You got to change all that. Sure. I agree. That's true. I think you should get, That's true. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna reconcile with your husband, I think you need to get rid of all that wardrobe that you had when you was angry at him. Just and like you get a new ring and a new journal, you need some new lingerie. Because every yeah. time it's all like, oh, I hate this mother. I remember. Nah, throw them shits out. Get okay. you some. Yeah. And, right. and yeah, that's true. Because that, those that ain't nobody over here clothes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, and that makes sense. That makes sense. But that you know what? Okay. I get rid of that. I get rid of those things after every breakup. If I had some lingerie or something that I use, uh, you know, a lot over and over during that relationship, I give it away. The goodwill. I put. I, I don't keep anything with the energy of that person. Okay. Or the intention that. of that person. Oh, maybe that explains a lot. Because I got some old okay. t-shirts up in here that I be sleeping in. I be in them bitches, nah. throw them in the trash. You know, nah. I, 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 I stopped wearing t-shirts. some boxer briefs that, that are here. so comfortable. Nah. Nigga. I, I, I forgot I stopped briefs. wearing shirts that weren't his. I, I, I'd wear them be like, well, this is some other nigga. I, 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 energy, I'd be forgetting. Don't wear anything that's another man's clothing, but it's not him. Yeah. Y'all better Marie Kondo the shit out of y'all drawers tonight. And get rid of everything that don't give you joy no more. And them old niggas don't give you joy. Them well, some of them do. Some I got some nice Jordan shorts though. I don't want to throw them away. Yeah, well, so they bring you joy. So, so <laughs> you, know, you can't get rid of the Jordan shorts. Well, Angel said they bring yeah, Jordan, you joy. So. Well, she says she shorts. likes them. I mean, you you just gotta pay attention to how your gut that Damn. little thing that tingle in your gut. If you look at this shirt and all you can think of is we used to go get ice cream in this shirt, it gotta go. It gotta go. Anything in your house that like in relationships, I get rid of anything that when I see it, it brings me like, you know, I don't know this dude. So yeah, I did exactly. it go and then I fulfill yeah. myself with, you know, more loving things that I like. And that's well, the same thing with lingerie. The only one it. amongst no. us that is solid, solid with a man married is the one who does not want to look sexy around him. Isn't that right? <laughs> Wait, Jackie, Jackie, that's because she's in her um re re reclamation time point. You know, we we gonna see the transformation. She's still in the transformation, okay. so when she's she transitioning. To LA? Let's see. Now nah, you're we right, Angel. That's for real, cause that's why I did. Yeah, I was like, let me see a picture. I like, nah, I done deleted all that shit already. I don't even want to see it. I don't want that energy. I don't want to think about What's it. That? Is that a time? Oh no, what you went and got? A wardrobe? Panels. Why do you want to be street? LA? Why you got so many? Crystal. <laughs> Crystal. Crystal. You call it in the house, girl. Keep I'm gonna talk to well, you, and I do agree. Just keep one. Just keep one. Don't keep none. You can, no. You can, you can, you can, oh, you know, get it. Get it up. Get it no. up. Get you None. Look, get you, 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 you just can't sexy. wear them every go night. Get you some sexy flannel. How about that? Okay, yeah. no, don't get no. I'm telling you, get the leggings that got all the they, they grip your body, it's still warm. But that's what I'm cute. saying. They got legging flannel. Leggings. Like the flannel print. They got the they got different prints. Yeah. Are you wearing okay? Are you wearing the flannel pants with a, a shirt and a bra also? <laughs> no, I don't like, yeah, they swing. I let them hang in the house, but okay. yeah. Get you look, this is what you do. You get tank the little t shirts. And then you wear no bra and then your, your nipples be hard and then it fits with the uh with the leggings. And I'm telling you, you're gonna be a walking silhouette, bitch. Oh, Ooh, it white, looks so good. A white wife beater okay. with no bra, they love that shit. But mate, don't get don't get the nigga one that be hanging in his bag. No, yeah, now you now you trying to tie it up into the bag <laughs> and then make it a <laughs> nigga, baby. <laughs> now get you the woman tank tops. And then do wear that. That's it. That's it. No you gotta wear no bra because it, 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 it. I work on being girly. Cause even like, yes. I, like I gotta be girly and sexy. Cause he was like, man, you walk like you about to take off running. <laughs> I'm a thug <laughs> though. Like what you want, bro? I'm a thug. Like, 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 we but gotta but let I'm that go a little bit. You want me for me though. Like, <laughs> okay, but Crystal, yes. Crystal, let's go ahead and really. Let's go ahead and really kind of define a little bit about what, what that's about. You know what happened when you were angry and stuff. You let go of your feminine energy because you were protecting your heart and you stayed in your masculine. And that's you what those like flannels are. Those are armor. Those are you not going to hurt me no more outfits. I was about to say, you had this attitude <laughs> of no niggas going to get this the bad side of no, me again. No, throw those away. Your again. Zoom is over. None of them. You don't keep none no, of them. Okay. No. I, 
I'm going to donate them. I ain't going to throw them away. I'll donate right, them. But take the ones you got off, too, now. Take those off and put them in the same bag. <laughs> Those are the worst. When the Zoom is over, yeah. just go like this, Crystal. Just be like, you know what? I don't want none of this. I want like, you to burn them. I want you to burn them right now so we can watch. Let's yeah. see. We need what a bonfire. Let's get a bonfire oh, and then we can we yeah. just burn oh all God. these things. This is crazy, but uh, maybe it is because energy. I mean, it's and crazy. If you believe in the power of energy, your clothes carry your energy as well. And like they said, every time you look at it, every time you, that memory, that feeling, that smell, whatever is going to come back in and, 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 and tamper on something that you're trying to forget about. So and serious, new energy. Serious yes. sexual energy contributes to the love you have with you and your partner. Okay. And, yeah, that, and take and it that, as a shopping spree. Go shopping. Yeah. Girl. I'm yeah. going to go get Y'all right. send me some links to, because I do like when I see them on other girls, I'll be like, oh, that's cute. I want to be. But when I get home, this is. Take my I probably bra. never been yeah. in love before. That's why I didn't care before. I've never been in love like this. That's why I'm like, what can I do that'll make him happy? And it's not about me. And when I did it, it was gratifying as fuck. Yeah. yeah. And, but did you ask him, Jackie? Did you ask him? No. I just showed up okay. and I said, I said, guess what I've never done before with any man ever. And he was like, what? I said, I bought a, a sexy nighty. When I tell you he was so happy, you thought I bought him a vehicle. He was so happy. <laughs> Yeah, but don't forget to just simply ask your partner, hey, what makes, what makes you, you happy? What makes you happy? What would you like? What, what you want to try together? Yeah. What you, you know, that kind of thing. That too. Yeah, especially, Crystal, if you know he has a favorite football team and you go get a bra that's because they sell all that paraphernalia in every team. So, yeah. like, say, for instance, he's a Chicago Bear fan and you came to bed in a Chicago Bear bra. That's hot. That's oh! hot. Okay. <laughs> Stay tuned. I'm gonna have a report. <laughs> he gonna be like, "What's your friend's name? Let me send them something." <laughs> Cash at me, boo. Cash at me. <laughs> and sometimes I'm it takes the you. pressure. Asking him take, take, take the pressure out of you doing it yourself. I'm like, you yeah. know, y'all friends, y'all friends. That's why I can't let you be clients. Y'all are just friends. All right. <laughs> can't cross right, the line. We've been on and here then when you have half hours. when you have your tank crystal, <laughs> so just have like either a short little robe or short jacket that you can take off and put on, so you can still walk around and be. And then you get chilly, you put it on. You know what I mean? As get you a nice little so cute robe. Don't get you. You know nice what I bought? You know, robe. you know, Christy Teigen. Crystal, I know you got some bath robes in the back with a hoodie on it because it's of, a because of shit. I know. Because Christy, Christy Teigen, Christy, Christy, they all fuzzy. Christy okay. Teigen wears these 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 silk uh, kimono robes, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. one on Amazon. I bought one like in every color, and I, I wear it at his house. Not here. Oh, I, I want one, one of those. No, where so it in the house? Nice where did you get where, yours, Jackie? Where it in your house too? Where when you get out the shower? And yeah. You and you come out the mirror it's, and no, you take it, it, ain't no man here. I want that. It's not about the man. It's you. Do it for you. It's for you. You gotta do it for yourself, guys. I'm turning on See, my knee all the yeah, time. That's what I can get behind. I can do the silk. Girl, bro. let me get I, me one now. When I, you know what's so funny? Because when I started buying... I'm drinking wine now. No, when I started buying sexy shit for myself in the house and I was wearing like my cute robes, my cute house clothes, I was walking different. I was talking. I was softening up. And I was like, literally, like, oh, this is this is this what I've been wanting. Yeah, this, this is cute. cute. <laughs> cute. Like, I'm real cute. Like, who wanna come over? Like, what's up? <laughs> So I do it the, for you. And, and you can wear the silk robe with nothing in it. That's also that, that's that's what I wear. Mm -hmm. I have a silk robe for the summer. I have I have like literally like four or five robes. I got two winter robes and they both super cute. I got it from Kim K. I was like, thank you, Kim. And I just got in this game a day and a half ago. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you never bought lingerie before. That's so crazy. Girl, I never. used to put on lingerie with a trench coat and then go to the nigga's house. Like, Cause I've never wanted to. I, um, I've never um, felt this um, way about um, a guy before. So girl, now, I bought. Let me tell you, this is a good lingerie story. So I bought some lingerie in grad school. Purple and Victoria's Secret, some thong up the booty, lacy, all this business. So when you walked in, um, it was the living room, right? So I got on the floor like I'm watching the TV, booty tooted in the air. So when you walk in, all you see is ass. <laughs> yeah, love it, love it. Booty tooted. It was a beautiful sight. You know what I'm saying? It was a beautiful sight. My boyfriend walked in and was mad. I could have had, since he used to always roll with his boy. I can't remember oh. the boy's name. I could have had Sean with me. What you doing? Go put some clothes on. I was like, I was so hurt. But that did not stop a girl. I still do it. But I'm saying that was, it was devastating. Like, I felt so ashamed. I was like, <laughs> Courtney, Courtney, you know how 
often. I do the booty tooted on purpose, pretending that it, I want to lay that way. It's not comfortable. I be on the yeah. floor. I don't know how the boy with, with the money reside kept his back arched through that whole song. <laughs> like, that shit is uncomfortable. No, you do it when you hit a key in the mouth. He got scoliosis. He got scoliosis. Well, first of all, some of us, it hurts. You got back problems. Some of us are sway back. Okay, some of us are sway back, and that's what my problem is. I go to chiropractor. It's called sway back. What's that? Yeah, it's that? like where Scoliosis. the bone where your booty is it, it kind of sit like this. It's not like you I try dip. to, but like when I lean against the wall, my whole back cannot touch because it curves in. Well, you got a fat ass. That's and why. Booty. Even no, I, it, yeah. donk. It's not about I'm telling you, you go it's painful. We can't do a certain things oh. like we gotta lay with a pillow underneath our knees and stuff like say, that. Well, mine is because my butt, but yeah, on my back, I can't lay flat on my back. I had to put my legs up. So that my back lays flat, right? You, know? you mama, with a pillow, mama. that's because my ass is big. That's a lot of faking I've done, no, acting no. like I'm comfortable and I'm not. I'm just trying to get him to look at me. It's ridiculous. It's a game, <laughs> it's all a game, or the fake sleeping. Like, uh, <laughs> that's the uh, easiest one. Yeah. Oh, the fake God. sleeping with no underwear. Come on, that's now. You know the I'm cute one where you, where you move your leg a little bit and adjust. I know. Yeah, See, I want a boyfriend so I can walk by the table with my ass out while he watching the game and shit and be like, oh, I dropped something. My bad. Courtney, Courtney, don't forget that you're supposed to go put one of them outfits on when, when, when you leave here and I, I expect to see a text in the group chat. Okay. But okay. y'all know what? Ain't nothing worse. I'm on Amazon looking at these robes oh. right now and you see a cute <laughs> robe but then you go to the customer pictures and they be the bullshit. And then you be like, I forget it. Like, I don't know. Forget it. So you gotta, you gotta search. You gotta search the right one. Take a minute. You're not gonna find it right It takes a minute. Away. It oh, that's you gotta funny. do that at like 1 a.m. and you got a couple, you got two hours to spare. You gotta go through the reviews. You gotta check mm -hmm. the pictures. It's Man, a process, girl. Some of these, the bullshit, okay? Oh, the majority is gonna be the bullshit. <laughs> You know, Jackie, I just want to toast all the all the wonderful people that's watching us. Cheers! Thanks what for I the wore, okay? with a matching oh, song. That's oh, that's cute. Oh, I went with my I girlfriend. See. I forgot to the sex shop over the week. What's the yeah over the weekend? Because she wanted to get some lingerie for her guy. He um he did something special, so I was like reward him. So okay. she went and got this beautiful lingerie. Um, but the sex shop is off the chain, y'all. They got so much. They got a lot of shit in the sex shop. Yo, yeah. it's, so, it's I overwhelming. Was I was legit just going to the sex shop for this nigga. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was all See, good. He didn't even deserve it. Though. Keep your money. Yeah, you know he don't. He don't deserve that loo. That's not the loo he deserved. I want Crystal to get a dance. You know, get your favorite song and get you a slow like stripper dance. You ever dance for him? You know. Have I dance for him? <laughs> The fact that I'm having to think about it. Right. Um, <laughs> I tell you, when I when I when I pretend I know how to twerk really well for him, yeah, I'm not sexy. Like, like you're sexy. No, Crystal, I'm, I'm the same way. I'm not a sexy. I'm not a sexy like a sexy like, girl. I'll fuck around and start break dancing in the middle, like. Eh, eh. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not that's why I'm Crystal. We silly. We silly girls. But Crystal and Cornelia, that's why your sexy dances got to be slow songs. Y'all can't do the fast ones. Y'all got to do like Chrisette Michelle, if I had my way, or Jill Scott. You can't go in there because y'all gonna get silly. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm silly. Right. I be silly. Oh, I think. Going silly is always our defense mechanism. Yeah, because like, he's not silly. Yeah, when I'm silly, thing. he it's, don't get it. It took me a while to figure out how to be sexy. Still learning. That should be. I, I done done some things. I'm clumsy. I done fell and did some old things. Like, me so, too. I fell off the bed once. Yeah, so it's like we're still learning how to like let go. And I think once we learn how to let go, the silliness and the, the you know, the shyness or the goofiness will tend yeah. to. I've won't, I've I've knocked because when I've you fucking you ain't be like in the dark, <laughs> dark <backs. laughs> right? You're like, oh look at this nigga, hey, you ain't be doing that way, you fucking. So he will <laughs> say no jokes, no jokes you, in here, Crystal, no jokes. I mean, like it's it's funny, yeah. no jokes. Yeah. We've been clowns awesome. our I, whole I, life. We just, I would try. Clowns. I would try and be sexy and do a dance and look up at him, thinking he's probably laughing at me. And he's an he's an expert. They're not. They're not. They're not. not. You know what? Be above all else. Above all else, they really just appreciate the effort. Mm -hmm. It's the effort. It's not like if your man came in there and started dancing for you, you don't want him to be a real Chippendale. You just like the fact that he put the effort. 
Yeah. And so like when you get vulnerable and you're like, hey, watch this and you just, you know, practice, but you got to practice. That's why I was saying, put the outfits on, get in the mirror, put some red lipstick on, make faces, practice. I mean, you got to start somewhere. Put some music on. I'll be having full blown photo shoots naked by myself. Like, ooh, when a nigga get these, like, let me, <laughs> let, let me find. But I, I got a whole. They be like, when you took this? Yeah, and you know the the sleep cap or my my the nighttime black girl cap. I would keep that on for four days. The last weekend when I went to 90, I took my, my natural hair out and curled it. When I tell you he ejaculated when I walked in the room, like that's yep. I've got to make an effort. And you know what else, Crystal? I'd start rooms on Clubhouse and ask people to teach me how to flirt. And you'll learn so many secrets from very confident women because for some women, this is their strength. This is yeah. their talent. And so if, you know, us as yeah. comedians, we work in our masculine energy all the time, running the stage, running the room, running the audience. We sometimes <laughs> forget how to learn to be sultry and tap into Aphrodite, you know, the goddess of sex and allurement. So you got to like put some effort in learning. But I would, do, I would I say that yeah. I'm a good flirt with men that I, I'm not with. And I Me would, I would get to flirt yes. with them exactly. Yeah. Like yeah, I like you. I can't look you in the eye. I'm like, oh, shine. Right. Shit, but and yeah. that's but where strangers. you got to practice. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling yeah. them in with strangers. but with Five guy. seconds, ladies. Five second eye contact for flirting. Five seconds. I can't do it so awkward. hard. Yes, you can. I'm going to look away. Men always think I'm flirting with them when I'm just being myself and talking. It's like, I don't like you. I'm just... You know what? It's hard to look him in the eye, though. I get I get shy and I that's, get nervous. That's my specialty. That's when I, that's when I shine. And then, really? <laughs> let me look you in the eye because I feel like if I can look you in the eye, I can snatch your soul. Like, come here, man. Let me talk to you a little bit. If I get you talking, you mind, you know, That's especially was... looking him in the eye when we're doing it. I get I get freaked out. But you know what else? I, oh, yeah, I can do that. I, That's it. I asked somebody. <laughs> I asked somebody <laughs> in the clubhouse. Like right here, right here. <laughs> I asked him to do a role play with me so I can start getting comfortable. And I did it in front of other people. And they chimed in and corrected me. Mm -hmm. I'm serious about learning how to do this, guys. They were like, Angel, you got to so learn and then report. Report back to us. We're going to learn through you. I ain't going to be able to get on. If I can't do it with my husband, I damn sure can't do it in front of strangers on Clubhouse. That's Nobody. why I did it. I can do it with strangers. I can't do it with, with an actual partner. I want to learn. So I, I was like, I'm going to put myself out there to learn and be teachable. You got to have a teachable spirit. And so I told them, I said, guys, what am I saying wrong on the date? And they were like, well, you need to say this more. You need to do this. And also the eye contact. You know how I had to also had to learn? I would go over his house fully moisturized. Everything is lotion. <laughs> and he would still go get oil and want to oil me down. And I'd be like, nigga, I just it's not, it's not about it. you being not ashy. I know, I know. I had to rub your body down. I'd be annoyed. I'm, annoyed. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I, I, I got already, already moisturized. <laughs> First of all, ain't nothing more sensual than a man putting an oil on he your He loves head. oil that you want. A man well, that you I, want to put I, I, oil. Front, when I was living in New York, there was a dude I was dating. And every time I come over, he would have a fresh bottle of baby oil. Yeah. Just so he could spread it on my ass. And just like, that's what he wanted to do. That's like, what he uh, wanted to do. He wanted that's me to it. lay on my stomach and just squirt it all over and rub it. I'm like, I just did that. Squirt it. They don't care. Nah, he'd be like, turn over. And he'd be like, mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's, and I'm like, the oil is cold. I got, I had to learn to shut up and just take it and let him yes. do what he wants. Be quiet. Just take Be it. quiet. You are gonna get more if you just shut the fuck up and take and it. <laughs> whenever, I, whenever I'm quiet, I'm like, you know what? I'm glad I let him do that. It was fantastic. <laughs> nice. And you know what? I had to learn how to stop doing explaining my body. Because <laughs> yes. <laughs> Be like they don't see oh, all that shit. I'm saying the same like I'll be and taking the stuff the off. I'll be like, oh, I got this scar when I had done this. Oh, okay. Well, this right here, <laughs> when I was five, I had touched the iron. And then <laughs> he's like, would you I do that because I have okay. I have about a none of that. body. I yeah. have my gallbladder removed, so I have right. <laughs> yeah, that's so like, funny you said that, Angel, because literally I have I don't care. I have my big C-section scar from my surgery. And then dudes be like, I thought you said you had no kids. I'm like, listen up, listen up. Uh, I don't got no kids, but I got scar. But this, this is what happened. And then it's like, oh, shit. And I'm like, can we just turn the lights off? Like, can <laughs> because they might see it and wonder, but they wonder for about two and a half seconds. Not right. even if that. Not even, Not even that. It's like, uh, titties. Yeah. <laughs> 
Like, yeah. and you know what they brag about? And you know what they brag about? Um, stretch marks. That's they like they them. like that. Yeah. Cellulite. Club, they they like real. Clubhouse, they like that's like you know sexy to them. I be buying cream to take my shit away. I'm complaining about my size. Like, right. <laughs> Where the turmeric at? Let me blend this out. Yes. Let me blend this I'm out. Like, I wish, I wish my size care. didn't touch. He's like, I love that your, t- your size touch. I want them together all the time. <laughs> and then how many times do you hear? In my face. How many, <laughs> Put how many times? Head. How many times you hear that you're so beautiful when you don't have no makeup on? All the time. All the time. Yes. Yes. Hair pinned up, nothing good looking in your mind. And he's like, I take my wig off and they don't even miss a beat. And then sometimes I tie I take the wig off and then I tie a hair wrap so that they don't see nothing in between, right? They always see a look, but then the hair wrap come off. And then that's when they start putting it in my hair. And I'm like, you okay with that? Like, what? (laughs) They don't all they all they're thinking is I'm fucking. Right. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh my God. Well, I know I'm, this weekend. I'm just low key happy for you, Crystal. Jackie, do you mind if we have her like a bachelorette party on one of the relatable of course, podcasts? That would be adorable. Oh, that'd be so cool. Oh, be yeah, nice. and then we can like, you know, somehow um maybe we just have to cash app you and then show you a photo of what we want you to buy with it. We could do a live and have everyone cash app it. Yeah, yeah, you know. Go towards your 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 oh, no, wedding. We should have to the product and be like, "This is what I got you." And because then there's a company the called Ra- there's a company called Rated Intimate on social media that they have sent me a couple of toys for free, and they're Ooh, black. Okay. Owned. They're black. You think owned. they'll come on the show? They Ooh, they're black owned. They gave me. They gave me. They gave me really Is that the intricate. one Jackie with the glove? Didn't they have a glove on their face? They have one. They, the new Girl, one. They've been talking about that glove. A I glove. glove. The new one is a glove, glove and every finger has some contraption or perforation or whatever. They gave me a long ass. <laughs> and and they gave me a lot, several toys. And when I tell you, I've tried two of them, and I'm like, if I don't put these away. I'm gonna end up. I had, to, I had to get rid of all my. T- I got one left. I had to y'all be it. careful because you can't have orgasms with a dude if you keep. That's you what know, I'm just, saying. I, I, only, I only use both of them once. So I'm like, I'd rather have a person because yeah. I. I, I love he got addicted. Like I've been doing it, myself for so yeah, long. Like, I want mean, to get used to a human being. I honestly think Crystal probably would need the clothing more so than the toy. <laughs> yeah. Crystal, we got all get you one of them Chrissy shit. Teigen robes. Chrissy Teigen, get you one of them Chrissy Teigen robes, girl. That's yeah. a scar. What we used to do, we used to do we should get her lingerie, like stuff like that, lingerie, yeah. cute shit to wear. That's your, that's your registry. Is is lingerie? That's your registry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, lingerie, and loungewear. Yes. Yeah, cute lingerie. Just give us just, Now, Jackie, you got to give us some notice on this. Don't be calling us the day of. Talk about we have a Christmas right. party. <laughs> yeah, free, free at five. Oh, It'd be like no, yeah, free at five. If LA, yeah. if LA would get their COVID yeah. stuff together, I'm supposed to be in LA in about two weeks. So if y'all would just get the numbers down, so Jack is bad. So just be, be careful, that. okay? Yeah, be uh, careful. Well, I, I ain't going nowhere this weekend, so I'll be inside the house. Uh, and Crystal, uh, about when is oh, about when is he going to be out in LA? Do you know? Uh, he actually, well, he works, so he'll be here Tuesday. But so all the days that he's actually in between work, he'll come here. But official move day is March first. Okay. Fuck Flannel. Like so Crystal, Hashtag Hashtag Flannel. Crystal, do you uh, do you have a theme in mind that you want? You don't have to tell me now, but like a, like if you fuck want Flannel. us to dress up, you know, some people do wigs, some we people can, do. We could be sexy. We sexy. can all wear flannel for the last time. We can all wear flannel together for the last no, time. No, okay. no, no. Like, no. no. <laughs> I don't approve this message because that means we going into the new marriage with this. Flannel? Nah, bitch, we not I doing that. I don't want to do that. Okay, Crystal, like that what about... I what was about, kind of with it, Chris. I was okay, what about masquerade? What about masquerade? That's sexy, you know, with the we little mask. We not mask, Angel. How much more mask we gonna have? Yeah, yeah. If we have to buy supplies. <laughs> I'm now, so now, done now with masks. We have to buy supplies <laughs> for this. That means just come with your regular mask you got on. Shit, no. your COVID mask. <laughs> 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 I'm 
first of all, first of all, that's the bachelorette party. But first party. of all, I, I'm just brainstorming, okay? But okay. my self esteem high enough for this, okay? <laughs> Can we yeah. not dress up? I don't okay. like dress up. We'll figure, like how about, why can't we wear Thanks. a sexy lingerie? Why well, we can't wear sexy robes and lingerie? Yeah, but I got casual lamp. Everything we want for her. Y'all just heard like, us say bitch. that we it's a struggle for some of us, and y'all right. want to jump straight to Zoom with the sexy lingerie. Oh, Zoom. We got to oh, take Zoom. Make it have it. I think wear lingerie. You wear a kimono robe. Okay. How about Crystal pick the theme for her bachelorette party? I, I was thinking that. Oh, she could do it. Yeah. Yeah. Was not that you had three ideas. Oh, she <laughs> said, you were brainstorming. But y'all <laughs> sitting here defending. Y'all sitting here defending ideas. And the girl ain't three ideas. I was like, you know what? Let's just let Crystal pick. <laughs> y'all Let's crazy. just let Crystal pick what? her ideas. Okay. Let Crystal ponder. We, we're all yes, talking I all said that. We got too much, right? We got we'll three months. Out. Yeah. We, this podcast has been five hours. We're going to get off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my okay, I miss you, doing? ladies. I want us all Thank to be you safe. Guys. And we'll we'll talk about Love her you bridal you guys. shower. And Thank you for the guys. conversation. Thank, Thank you, everybody, for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry we forgot about y'all being there. We all need y'all. Y'all be safe. Love you guys. You too. Be safe. Bye. Be safe. Bye. Bye.